Hello, kids. This is Ryan from the Dead Radio Podcast. Please excuse me while I get these plugs out of the way. Please subscribe to the Dead Radio Podcast on iTunes, Beyond Pod, or whatever your mobile podcast app preference may be to download and listen to the show on the go. Not sure how to do that? Go to our YouTube page by searching Dead Radio Podcast and watching the lovely video Adam posted to teach you dummies how to figure it out. You might as well subscribe to the channel as well while you're there. We're also on Instagram at Dead Radio Podcast and on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash Dead Radio Podcast. If you'd like to support the show, send us a few shekels at our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Dead Radio Podcast. Your support will help to enhance. 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 The show and fund future Dead Radio projects like Tim Cop, a live chili cook off, and a shot for shot remake of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. We do this show for fun, but as Danny DeVito and Twins once said, Well, money talks and bullshit walks. We also share the internets with other local podcasts. So check out Dark Side Records Podcast, Dork Side at Dark Side Podcast, Hudson Valley Legends Podcast, and Hudson Valley Transmitter Podcast. And as always, the Dead Radio Podcast is sponsored by Track 7 Studios, providing quality artistic photography and video services for advertising or events of any size. They will photographify anything. And if anybody has been paying attention, I just said the word podcast 13 times. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the show. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life. Welcome to Dead Radio. We're not doing that. How did she come to have sex with a dead man? Don't call me Radio Unit 91. You're a dead man. You're a dead man! He's got here in this radio station. Place where the dead speak. Rebel Radio! Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fake? Yes. How'd you like to be dead? You ever think about doing radio? My team. My team is dead! But you're not crazy. You're me. And this is just radio. By the powers vested in me, by the Federal Communications Commission, I command you to get on the microphone in a serious manner and continue this broadcast. Ah. I never know how to get started. I do. Yeah, you make fucking stupid noise. That's right. I know how to get started with this one. My neck hurts. The back of my neck is sunburned to shit. (laughs) I feel fine. I didn't wear any sunblock yesterday. I want to start off with a shout out to Dark Side Records in Poughkeepsie um, for their uh, the Dark Side Bazaar. I believe, in my personal opinion, it was uh, it was a big success. At least for us. I don't know about the other venues, vendors, and stuff. We've met a lot of musicians, we made a lot, a bunch of new contacts, um, and um, passed out some uh, some stuff to some listeners, yeah. uh, potential listeners, so I feel good about it. Mm-hmm. It's given me, it's renewed my enthusiasm for this show. It was waning? No. <laughs> <laughs> ever, since I, ever since I quit, it seems to be, you know, spot on. But, uh... Yeah, the guys at Darkside, check them out at Darkside Records PK on Facebook and um, 611 uh, Duchess Turnpike in Poughkeepsie. Go take a look at them, man. They they put on a great a great thing yesterday, even though it was at least 160 degrees out. Yeah, it was so f- <laughs> it was so fucking hot. But, you can um, also check out their podcast after you're done listening to all of ours. Yes. It'll keep you busy until next week when we post another episode. Yeah. Well, this is uh, episode 119, and we're off and running already. Uh, in the studio with us, we have uh, Dave Curlander. Uh, he's with K9 Tactics. Uh, it's also called Curlander Kennels. Am I correct? Yeah. 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 Get, get right up get on there. Get a little closer on that mic. Yeah. What is that yeah, now? Boost him uh, up a little bit. Yeah, didn't we just do a mic check? It was fine. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, there, there it goes. There Jesus, go. something. All right. Just hit it with a hammer. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, um, but uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
we've talked on multiple occasions about you know what you do and everything, and it's mm. I for some reason, and it's I think I know what the reason is. I have a, I have a mental issue. Um, <laughs> I can't seem to wrap my head around what it is that you do. It's not a specific like. Really should have went with the uh, yeah the uh, office space reference. What was that? What would you say you do here? What would, yeah? What, <laughs> what is it that you say you do here? <laughs> no, but um, you know, because I'm gonna you know I'm gonna say it. Um, right off the bat, people automatically think, you know, uh, Caesar Milan or whatever the hell. Right. But you're you have a different approach. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, a different it's... way of thinking. So please explain that to me one more time. And this <laughs> time I'm pretty sure it's, for, it it's for the audience. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. for the audience. <laughs> it's more for me. Can you yeah. explain it to them because they don't <laughs> know? <laughs> 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 um yeah, no, I I'm I'm I I you know, I uh basically focus on animal behavior, um, more about the perception of reality of, of canines, of dogs. Um, really just trying to put it out there that, that, you know, dogs don't perceive reality the same way people do. Um, they think differently. So psychology is completely different. So I find um, that, uh, you know, I'm not saying anyone's doing anything wrong as far as, like, dog trainers are concerned, except for that, uh, you know, we do apply a lot of human psychology and, um, you know, expect dogs to respond to to that and, and and you know it's so it sounds like you're kind of meeting meeting them in the middle yeah absolutely yeah yeah okay yeah. that makes yeah. a little more sense to me yeah yeah because I, I you know it, it's i always hear that word alpha you got to be the alpha dog you, you know with dog trainers they're it's always been the thinking for for decades decades yeah yeah yeah, I mean, yeah yeah that was the first thing i was taught yeah know? yeah um and I've realized that it's just certain things. It's just not going to work. No, you know, <laughs> it's not. like for for my dog, like following that whole Caesar Milan bullshit doesn't work. That <laughs> because like if I if I go all alpha on my dog for getting into the garbage, right. he understands in the moment. Right, but it doesn't change his behavior ever. Well, who's to tell yeah. the dog what a garbage is? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've yeah. I've literally slept in the woods with wolves, yeah. and I'll be honest with you, I've never seen a garbage can <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or a Tempur-Pedic bed. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it, it's like yeah. you know, I, I I hear a lot of these uh, um, very human-based um, like. Uh, theories like you know that that the dog shouldn't be laying in the bed with you because of uh you know it'll you know have an issue with you know dominance yeah. over the bed um yeah. you know spatial dominance you know doing like spatial resource guarding is something that's real um yeah. but it's not the bed it's the mm-hmm. structure between the person and the dog i don't yeah. let him yeah. sleep in our well we don't let um him uh, eisen i'm pointing at eisen yeah, if anybody <laughs> i don't know if anybody can see but he's sleeping on the uh the, ge- the <laughs> guest chair over there um <laughs> jesus I- christ look at him <laughs> 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 he's, uh, um he's uh, awesome. i don't let him sleep on the bed for just because <laughs> i want to get a good night's sleep actually from what i was told i i i nodded off after the long day in the sun yesterday i came home i had three beers within an hour three of these glutenberg <laughs> red ales which i've talked about before right in a row within an hour and then passed out on the bed <laughs> And Brooke went about her her evening, took a shower and everything, and she came upstairs, and he was sleeping right at the foot. I was passed out. I had no idea he was there. So I guess it's not such a bad thing. However, he has that terrier anal discharge fucking thing, you know, when, (laughs) like, they got that that fish odor smell. Mm, Yeah, Yeah, well... Yeah, we have a, we had like a blanket that. on top of it, and that's got to go in the wash now. So yeah, I was God. just like, "Oh, okay, that's why you can't <laughs> be up here, you son of a bitch." Well, that's a good reason. That's a, yeah. <laughs> that's a good reason. We let our dog in the bed uh, pretty often. I would say usually, like when he's been good, or you know, we haven't been home all day, so he's really looking for attention. Yeah. But the problem is, is when we do that. Then for three days after that, he just expects it. Like he's yeah. like, "This is what we do now. This yeah. is great." Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. That's... He has his own Tempur Pedic mattress. Yeah, Amy, he does. Amy yeah. bought him. Oh yeah, Amy bought him a memory foam mattress. Oh, that's, that's he's what old. he's got. Yeah, <laughs> he's got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dogs have that too. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's it's you know it's it's physical contact for a dog. I find is like probably one of the only true rewards that they get. Mm-hmm. And reward, you know, again, it's it's that perception of reality. What is reward yeah yeah you know really i mean i could tell you the happiest he is is if i'm sitting on the floor petting him he just wants to like adam said um at best for his dog bailey he's just like he just he just wants to be in you right <laughs> like <laughs> well, he just keeps yeah. climbing on top of you until he's like completely like 
you know, he's yeah. in your lap, you're hugging him, and then he's like, and, and he's still yeah. licking me. He's still begging for more. Yeah. Like, what else do you <laughs> want? <laughs> yeah, that's well, yeah, that you see, when it comes down to like reward, I, I feel like, you know, we as human beings look for specific objects as reward food, mm-hmm. money, things like that. Dogs don't have any of that. That doesn't exist within their society. You know, they don't reward each other. In fact, uh, you know, food reward, um, tree training. You know, if I'm uh, not saying that's I, some of my greatest friends are are, are are tree trainers and they're they're great at what they do, um, but you know, they're teaching dogs unreasonable things, uh, unreasonable things like sit, stay, and lay down. Uh, yeah. If you left the dog with his natural parents, they would never ask him to sit, stay, and lay down. These are completely unreasonable to nature for a dog. However, they do it. Yeah. which is like amazing. Um, but when it comes to um, the food reward, you know, when, when you, the strongest drive in a dog is food. It, it's the, the premise behind hunting and, and, mm-hmm. and guarding and everything. So, um, you know, it's actually by using food reward, you, you actually attain a negative behavior. Hmm. It's not, not positive at all. It's uh, like giving a drug addict a little bit, a little right. bit of drugs for being good. <laughs> right, yeah, that, that, well, he's hey, human, so that might be a today. reward. You went yeah. to work today. You paid your bills. Here's some heroin. Yeah, stick out your arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, yeah. All right. So all right. That makes sense to me. Um, oh, where was I going? I had a thought and I lost it. God damn it. Let's check under the table. We were talking. <laughs> we were talking before, like um, for. For Eisen, I'm gonna keep going back to him because he's in the room, yeah. kind of. I don't know, he's, he's asleep. <laughs> but um, my my always my issue with him, and like we gotta we we keep half we're gonna have to keep reiterating that each you believe that each tactic depends on the dog. Well, it, like the like the yeah. dog's personality is that well, yeah 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 how it, you would consider yeah. it yeah yeah it's 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 so. I've been working with dogs for over 25 years, mm-hmm. uh, well over 100,000 dogs. Um, and I will meet a new dog with a new family in a new environment tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so every single, so the way I kind of break it down is that dogs' psychology is based off of um, three things. Well, the psychology is based off of much more, but yeah. you can get really in depth with it. But when it comes down to like behavior modification, there's three real things, three, three opposing uh, um, uh, View influences, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so uh, basically, the influence of the mind of the dog. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, dog has to be willing to change. Uh, that depends on how stubborn the dog is. Um, the uh, the mind of everybody around who influences the dog. So, like neighbors and uh, you know the family, mm-hmm. and then the environment. I mean, you know, simply sometimes just taking an aggressive dog out of one house and putting him into another house, and t- dogs just. Yeah fine yeah. so you know something might not be conducive so if you achieve harmony between all three of those you're, you're good as far as behavior is concerned so you know dogs thrive on safety if they're not mm-hmm. safe if there's something confusing um they will act out and they can't tell you what it is through words um so they do it through body language hmm. you know so there's uh so every dog is different i've never met a dog that's the same ever right. i've never met a person that's the same or the environment that's the same that's the same so yeah it's, it's always a different what were your impressions of Eisen when you came in? If I can ask that question, I yeah. don't know if it's <laughs> no, no. I don't know if it's dominant, an confident. Yeah, no, he's you know he, I mean you could read a dog's behavior by by just you know mm-hmm. by looking at them that you know mm-hmm. they're like like I could tell with a human being you know it's mm-hmm. it's one of the things that you know w- w- what I do is I profile I profile the dog and see what they're doing I could tell people too if they have like a confident dominant behavior mm-hmm. or overly submissive. Um, you know, so for him, he's definitely a very dominant, confident dog. Um, you know, very uh, unaware of, of uh, boundaries, you know, that, yeah. <laughs> very that unaware know. of boundaries, <laughs> which shows, you know, a, a, a level of dominant aggression show, that he's displaying, mm. you know. Okay. Not that he'll ever bite any, anybody, but, you know, he's definitely willing to yeah, press. He, do, he does yeah. the same so aggre- thing. So aggression in the way that he's going to do something because he wants to do it. Yeah. Kind of okay. Yeah. yeah. So I use a lot of weird, I, li- no, I use no. a lot of words that, I, like, yeah. I, I get the, it. I just wanted to make sure that totally. I, I understood exactly what you were saying. Yeah. Totally. Because yeah. he does the same, he did the same thing with you, he does with everybody. Sure. He comes up, he's in your face, he's barking like a madman. Right. But people are petting him and he's fine. Right. And he 
and then he chills out after a little bit. Right. And then he'll run, grab a toy, and bring it back, and right. he's your buddy. Safety. That's what he's looking for. And he's then, checking you out. Yeah. Like, right now, if, like, if you got up and walked upstairs, he might, like, follow you and bark you. Right. Like, uh, bark right. at you. Right. That's just always what he's done, and I've never been, I just so, don't uh, know how to, I don't know how to. It's a structural it. issue. I just know that he's. Yeah. I just know that he's fine. He's not yeah. going to do anything. No, so no, no. I just it's you know. I totally. try to try to keep calm, he's but <laughs> that barking, my God, yeah. he's got that pug yeah. in him where he just got to bark. Everything. He's just, yeah, like, yeah, crazy. yeah. That's a it, it's a security <laughs> issue. He's looking at yeah. you like, why are you letting all these weird two legged people in this house? <laughs> what, what's going on? Are you going to stop them or what? Yeah. You know, and he he's just communicating. That's yeah, all. yeah, yeah. It's just a structural thing. You just got to kind of flip flop. Uh, you know, who's who's going to be more dominant? Who's controlling? Yeah. Basically, you have to become the provider. As mm-hmm. if you provide safety, he will follow right behind you. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I definitely don't. So see I'm it. too loosey goosey. <laughs> You're saying <laughs> I have to throw on a Hitler mustache and start goose stepping around the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, no. yeah. I mean, uh, I've noticed in the last, especially a few years, how much my dog has changed as he's gotten older. So, like, that development that I've seen, like, he's just such an ornery jerk now. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to be bothered except for by us. Right. He just, like, he would never bite anybody, but people come over. If he doesn't know them, he's just like, I don't want to have anything to do with of you. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pet me for that's... a while, and that's going to be great, but if you have children, please get them away from me. Right, you right. Bring your dog here. I'm going to be really angry with that's all a... of you. <laughs> <laughs> he just, yeah. like... Yeah. Like I used to bring Bailey over all the time when he was younger. Oh, and you him and him and Clover would be fine. My... He'd be a little annoyed with her for a little while, but right. now I would never bring him over here because he would just be barking at me to go <coughs> to get out. <laughs> Choking to death. He'd be barking at me to go home. Yeah. Clover was yeah. my uh was my yeah. dog. She uh died last year and I oh, I'm sorry we in May. And uh yeah. she got she kind of was she was like that where she was like she was super aggressive that one but she and she would nip if if provoked but she also gave off a lot of body language right. when if she if you yeah. were fucking with her yeah she let you know right away that she yeah, didn't want to be clear screwed with it. but yeah, yeah, yeah she used to and play she was with a, Bailey a big old english bulldog oh nice yeah, yeah she's just 70 so. pounds she's a monster yeah. wow, wow. Dog. Well, I'd probably find a picture but well, mm-hmm. um yeah, at, toward the end, she was like that. She didn't yeah. want anything to do with anybody. She just wanted to be. She wanted to sleep and be with us, and that's it. Yeah, no well, other dogs, no yeah. other people, just her. By so. nature, that's that's normal. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the way they should be. I've never mm-hmm. sat on my deck and had like a coyote run up to me and be like, "Hey, yeah. you want to play?" <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. it's it's. Uh, they don't do that. They're yeah. very internal. They're introverts. They they yeah. they love their pack, and that's it. So you know, when you bring them to a dog park and we see them playing and romping around. Um, you know, that's, that's just, that's structuring, you know, it's structuring. So a lot of people look at that and we as humans say, oh, they're playing, you know, play is through structure. You yeah. know, I mean, when you're kids and you're wrestling around trying to like kind of overpower the other kid, it's, yeah. you know, it's all in good fun and play, but yet you're structuring. You still want to win. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, you know, it's, it's that goofy lab that chases the mountain lion, which mm-hmm. actually is a lesson that I do. Um, <laughs> What? What? what, what, what? <laughs> Elaborate on that. <laughs> yeah, no, I got a a, a call without not going to mention names, oh, of but course. yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. no, I, I got a, a a phone call um, that this woman had a uh, uh, chocolate lab that was um, chasing a uh, bobcat in her yard, and I'm like, oh man, all right, so I show up and we're observing this, and here comes like a, a immature mountain lion like a cougar walking through there and this oh so not a bobcat yeah no (laughs) not a little bit bigger (laughs) a little bit bigger yeah Yeah. um yeah and (laughs) what was your reaction to that was like hey it's not a bobcat i was like yeah 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 (laughs) no i was just i i saw that and i was like all right this needs to stop immediately um yeah yeah and and what was he doing he's just chasing him having fun you know, I don't. So they were like interacting. No, thank no. God. That's why okay. I determined it's immature. Because honestly, if that was a mature cougar, that it dog would have been dead. It. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't have ran. You yeah. know, I mean, you know, I mean, dogs. I train a lot of hunting dogs, and you know, I mean, I've had Jack Russell's tree bear. Um, you know, we've we've used dogs to to tree mountain lions. You know, but you know, once they're up in the tree. If you don't back your dogs off, they come right back down. 
Yeah. You know, and then, yeah. yeah so they're, just, they're just like. They were able to regroup. Now cat, they have right. a high yeah, ground. Yeah, exactly. Cats, yeah. Are, cats are psychopaths, man. They're, that thing just climbed the tree. He, he's fine. He's climbing the tree. And he's like, all right, how can I get this motherfucker? That, uh, <laughs> I got some rock over there. All right, There's I got one, this guy. All right, two, three, here I go. come. <laughs> and then it's over. Oh, man. These savage bastards. That, so, in, in that situation, <laughs> I mean, can you tell us, like, what you did to, to, to help? I mean, it, like. To stop that? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, no, we, we, first off, uh, right off the bat, just, uh, you know, it, it's about organizing structure. So yeah. even, you know, if you look at dogs, when they hunt, um, in nature, uh, they, they follow the leader, you know, yeah. it's not just like a free for all. I mean, they're very, very structured. They're very organized, yeah. very militant actually in the way they hunt. Um, they have to be cause you mm -hmm. know, they, they might come across that rabbit or that deer and that's it for like a month, <laughs> you know, I yeah. mean. You know, not literally, but, you know, but that yeah. could be a week's meal right there. So they can't lose it. So I've seen ambush tactics. I've seen dogs actually strategize. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, again, with, with that whole perception of reality, who's to use that word strategize, but I have seen them do it. Yeah. Um, you know, so for that situation, um, we had to claim the cat as ours. So yeah. basically, if I'm the leader and that's mine, my cat, then everyone who follows me doesn't touch my cat. You know, because then it's it's like that that what I call alpha flow chart. Um, you know, if if somebody steps up uh, behind me and starts to pursue, I have to mm -hmm. correct that one. You know, and and, and control the food source. It's mm -hmm. like uh, it's like a you know a military where you know one of the privates stands up and just steps right in front of the sergeant. And the sergeant does what he wants. He's yeah. gonna get corrected. You yeah. know, so <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. So you know, it, it's it's an order structure. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't necessarily. Is is that going to work for? That's not going to necessarily work for any dog. It's just that dog particular, or would he? Or is that just or like? Is that part of it, their instinct? Structure is like developing an organizing structure mm -hmm. will work for every dog. Definitely, okay. it's just every dog has different the way that you go about establishing that right uh, technique. Uh, yeah. That's why like Caesar Milan and things like that don't work. Yeah, we're because yeah, I, well, I, that that's the thing. It it works with the ones that they put on TV. Imagine right. how many homes he goes into where it doesn't work out at all. Right, right, and doesn't yeah. hit the air. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 and that's and and that form of aggressive, that old school aggressive. You know, I've been doing it for twenty five years. I've seen all those 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 methods: pinning dogs to the ground, biting dogs, things like that. It's like yeah. you're, you're not a dog. You know, you can't do that. You know, you're human. So we have to figure out balances there and. You know, it's uh, taking that aggressive action of restraining a dog is just going to provoke worse behaviors, yeah. or you're going to frighten the hell out of your dog. You know, yeah. so um, you know you want you want your dog to have a healthy level of fear. So it's just that, yeah. you know fear meaning like I don't want my kids playing in Route Nine fear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they should fear cars coming at them at the 50 yeah. miles an hour. So, like, with a dog. Yeah, but every time they approach a car, you don't want to scream and yell at them and beat them into the house. No, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Now they see cars and they pee themselves. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not a good thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I used to try the, like, the pinning thing with my dog, and it was, I mean, it, it kind of worked, but it didn't stop the behavior. He just knew he was doing something wrong. Right. It was like well, he, he does a cost-benefit analysis and yeah. decides to go after the food on the table even though he knows he's going to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so yeah. it doesn't. It didn't work. I stopped doing it. There's no, no point. I was like, I don't even yell at him anymore. He's a dog. He's going to get into stuff. Right. You know? Right. And well, it's, just, it's at that point where I just need to modify the environment so he doesn't have those opportunities well, because he'll eat himself until he gets sick. That, yeah, yeah. You know, he will... <laughs> like, if there's an entire rack of ribs, he will eat all of them and then... Just, yeah. I, I've seen him eat so much when he's gotten into the garbage that he looks drunk. That afterwards. opportunistic kind of yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just he's that, like yeah, yeah. he's like wavering around with his eyes half open, <laughs> and I'm like, do I need to take him to the vet? <laughs> A gorged lion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's uh, you know, res you you could accomplish that by resource guarding, like mm -hmm. you actually resource guarding yep. me. I think uh, so. You know, a lot of um, a lot of rescues and uh, trainers that I speak to really say that. You know, resource carding. It's it's mm -hmm. it's awful. You know, if your dog growls at you, if you touch their food bowl, then he's a bad dog. Yeah. It's, it's normal. It's communication. Yeah. I've yeah. never met a wolf that didn't do it. Yeah. You know, it's it's they they all do that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's just they won't do it to their alphas. They won't do yeah. it to the, their superiors. So it's 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 one of those things where if you resource guard that food, your dog won't mm -hmm. touch it. You know, you'd be yeah. provided. And he now, used to be he used to be much better about it. I used to pour his food and not let him eat it until I told him he could. 
and that worked really well for him. But now it has, he's got he's almost fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just it's he's all retired. Gone, it's all gone by the wayside. He, doesn't, he doesn't you know <laughs> yeah. he he can't retired, he can't yeah. keep a thought in his head for more <laughs> than a few minutes. Retired. <laughs> yeah. He, like that. What about the opposite side of the spectrum of that of the the food guarding thing? Like for him, if he's eating, I can like literally put my I put my whole hand in the bowl. I could take out a bunch of food, and he just sits there. <laughs> yeah. Then <laughs> and wait, and then I just put it back, and then he's just like. And then he goes back to what he's doing. He's yeah. just like completely just does not give a shit. Yeah, doesn't. that's just mm-hmm. it, 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 he doesn't see any any security issues oh, okay. with you. Yeah, you're not yeah. gonna yeah you know, steal it or take it or anything like that. Yeah, he's definitely. I mean, he's a great dog. <laughs> 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 Yeah. The only time Bailey ever bit me was over a braised short rib. <laughs> <laughs> and I I'd bite like, you too. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> yeah. I was <laughs> like, I gave him the bone, and then I was like, "Where is the dog?" He went, and I mean, this is like a prime example of resource guarding. He went all the way down to the bottom of the stairs, like in a little corner where nobody could get at him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was just chewing on this bone to the point where his gums were bleeding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So I had to take it away from him, and yeah. he snapped at me. It's the only other time he did it, and yeah. he was like sad for three days. Like he felt terrible. Yeah, yeah. And I could tell he he was like, "Oh, I really crossed the line there." Right, right. And it's yeah. never happened again. Yeah. But I've also never given him a rib bone again. Right, because right, of that, right. You know. Right. right. So. Yeah, yeah, you gave him, you gave the rest of the pack to me, <laughs> <laughs> Clover, and yeah. I did I had to do the same thing to her. Yeah, but she didn't go after shit. me, but they she were, was like chewing on or like I look over imagine? and the bone is like bloody, and I went, Clo, all yeah. right, that's enough. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bloody oh, tool. I was like, oh, is, God. Dogs are just gross. That thing was braised <laughs> in like really good red wine for yeah. six hours. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh man! So what? I mean, like, w- w- let's talk about your process when you, you know, you get a call. Somebody has behave. Um, I don't know. You, whatever scenario, just like, just yeah, like maybe no specifics about a dog because you said that everything like is different. Well, everything's yeah, dog. Like, yeah. What is yeah. like? Where, what is where do you start? Process? You know, how do you? Well, yeah, where do you start yeah. when you first like, yeah. go into a, a home to to introduce yourself to a dog to start? Training it Where? for whatever behavior. <laughs> they, oh, I can give you some interesting examples. <laughs> <laughs> you can I if had, you yeah, want. If, yeah. if you're okay. How to. many I times have you been it. bitten by people's dogs? <laughs> oh my god, that's why Lots. I'm full of tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Just covering up scars. Cover those scars. Yeah. <laughs> Just not even worth fixing them anymore. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's um uh yeah, it, it's well that that you know if 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 I was to say do a b c and you know a b c d e and e and just it's not going to work. Do that. I'm yeah. just no, saying it'll, you it'll actually provoke as, negative behaviors you know, to, with yeah. your experience mm-hmm. and you were like coming to a home as a, I just yeah, I just w- walk in, I don't prepare for any like mm-hmm. tell them not to prepare for anything, just kind of just gauge it. Let's see how he approaches me, you know? I okay. mean, unless they're telling me, like, on the phone that the dog is, like, super aggressive and bit, like, four people. Yeah. Okay. Then, of course, you know, we, we want to patternize success, not 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 have failure right off the bat. Like, yeah. you know, we don't want to provoke the dog to attack me. I mean... Just to see what'll happen. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you. Your dog's gonna attack me. Alright, let's yeah. keep him on a leash. Um, you know, and, and then I can read the dog from a distance, um, but... <laughs> Let me tell you that that doesn't happen all the time. I've yeah. knocked on doors and people are like, "Oh, here!" and they open it and here comes a 125 pound German Shepherd oh, yeah. raging towards me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've had to take dogs down, like subdue them because they were just right, like off the bat, just viciously coming right after me. Um, you know, so it's like, what benefit is that now? You do a tutorial you know? video like Canine Krav Maga. Canine Krav Maga, yeah, that's <laughs> you beating up dogs. <laughs> canine Kung Fu, <laughs> new style of Kung Fu. <laughs> Oh, no, that's geez. well. What I, I I used to work at the Bronx Zoo. I was a zookeeper there for um for many many years, and uh, you know we we were we were taught basically how to uh, restrain animals, capture and restrain. It's a big thing when you're in an exhibit yeah. with a wild animal. You know, you got like a. You don't uh, want to be that trainer that gets eaten. Right, 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 right. With yeah, all the kids yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah, that's a. <laughs> yeah, being being. Yeah, I'll tell you. you Remember you, Harambe. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get like a uh, you know, some like uh hopped up testosterone, hopped up uh Famosan Sika deer charge you, yeah. which has happened. What and, the hell you know, is a It's a Sika <laughs> deer. Now I got to look that deer. up. <laughs> that <laughs> well, this this yeah, they 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 they'll, they they charge you with those antlers and all you yeah. see is your life flash before your eyes. Yeah, yeah no, it's uh so you Holy know, Holy shit, a, here I'll I'll yeah, that, <laughs> uh, let me get a full it's, yeah. They're oh, those their antlers are blunted. 
they're kind of yeah. Well, when, when is they that, charge is that just velvet or what? That's velvet on there. Yep, yep. They're beautiful. Yeah, that, wow. it looks like it's a amazing. F- it looks like a fawn. Yeah, with a. I mean, for anybody who doesn't know, I mean, deer, you know, the fawns are the the small spotted ones. (laughs) The bucks are the big ones with the pointy antlers. This one looks like a fawn with With a giant giant antlers. You got any more images? It looks like the, it looks like a, uh, it's like the width of a handle of a baseball bat. Yep, yep, that's, uh, yeah, look at that. Jesus Christ. Yep. How big, now how big is this animal? Uh, I'd say about maybe... Is it the size of like a regular like white-tailed deer? Or? Yeah, yeah, like two hundred maybe. Those are yeah. monster antlers, but there. they they're just blunted. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, well, you get hit with that. It's gonna be yeah. But oh, that yeah. thing's yeah, doing yeah, yeah. eighteen to twenty miles an hour. Probably <laughs> when it hits. I know. I that's don't what think I'm it's, saying. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. hurt yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, no, we get, yeah. There's uh yeah, catching one of them by the antlers is not easy. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, those but, are yeah. those are wild animals. Those wild animals. And where where are they? Where are they from? Ah, oh, Formosa and Sika. Um, they're from Formosa. Formosa. <laughs> Formosa. Where they make mimosas. <laughs> Formosa and Sika, subspecies uh, of Sika t- deer in Taiwan. the island yeah. of Taiwan. Yeah. Asian. Not Taiwan, but Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah, they're from the Bronx, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're from the they're Bronx. From t- they're from Taiwan, but they live in the Bronx the now. gangster <laughs> ones are down there. Yeah, they're <laughs> the gangster They're trying to gentrify the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, man! Yeah. Are, now this. Uh, what, what other animals have you worked with? Then, uh, like, I mean, I deer. I, you mentioned. I, I know you gorillas, offhandedly mentioned uh, elephants too. Elephants before. Yeah, worked with a lot of elephants. Gorillas, Amber said, "If we ever go and videotape yeah. you working with an elephant, she's taking off work and coming with us." Sweet, <laughs> awesome. All right, let's do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be let's so cool. Yeah, 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 they're they're amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, what's amazing. it like working with they're, an elephant? I hear they're like really, really intelligent. They are. Yeah. They are. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, at the at the Bronx Zoo is where I worked with most of the elephants, and they they they're all female, all mm. female bull. Would, would you know they're very dangerous. So yeah, um, we didn't really have have any down there. Yeah, and you um, don't have like the space and the yeah. facility to deal with something that that could well, be very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's 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 you know it. Having, I mean, they, they were they were amazing. I mean, they they there's you know subsonic subsonic communication mm-hmm. um, through like vibrations in the in the skull. Um, it's just, I did not know that crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did they just hear a really low frequency. They can communicate from yeah from great distances. Yeah, we really. Would, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If we removed yeah. like uh, <laughs> the little baby Sammy, mm-hmm. if we took him out of there, you, you'd hear like Patty and Maxine. You'd hear there, not here, but you could feel it like on mm-hmm. the vibration on their head. They would communicate with each other. That's um, wild. Yeah, yeah. Talk about it, a whole completely different structure uh, or, or perception of reality. I mean, there are like graveyards. They have graveyards. Yeah, they that like mourn mourn the deaths it's of family members and on, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've unreal, I've seen uh, what the hell's show was that? It was on uh, Animal Planet or something. I saw, um, and they had a, a migration pattern, and I guess this migration pattern was it was a specific like they diverted to go to this grave site. Yeah. And then back onto their uh, onto the actual onto the trail where now the the old trail went away. Right. Now this new trail was their their quick stop to pay their respects and off they and off they went. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. They really are amazing. <clears throat> there's there's not enough research done. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I, I've seen some great research done. Don't get me wrong, but just not enough. There's just not enough. You know, I mean, they, you know, people we we. Being that we have like this, this, this uh, vocalization that you know, this this verbalization that we can use where we talk and have languages, we we all to, all of a sudden just assume that we're the only ones with society and and mm-hmm. and, and the complexity, uh, psychological complexity, and and we're not. I mean, you know, it's if you look at other animals, they they do perceive that reality very different than we do. You know, they're who's. Who's to say they don't have their own, you know, uh, religions or, or something like that? Yeah, you know I mean, just because we can't, you know, just because we can't hear it. Yeah, because we, we can't understand. Right, 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 right. That's interesting. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. with with that, how do you feel about hunting? Hunting is natural. I mm-hmm. I, I hunt. Yep, I, I do hunt. I mean, you know, I started in the zoo as ornithology, you know, studying birds and. Mm-hmm. Now I train bird dogs, you know, so it's, <laughs> um, you know, I respect every animal out there. I mean, hunting is very natural. And, you know, I, I always tell uh, everybody when I take another hunting client on um, that 
I'm not going to teach your dog how to hunt, you know, mm-hmm. or, or to hunt. I'll teach your dog how to hunt, but not mm-hmm. to hunt. Right. You know, I put them in the field and they will do it. Nature mm-hmm. will tell them to do it. Um, yeah, like I was you were talking, saying with uh, his dad's dog. Yeah, before, yeah. Bef- uh, before we started the show, I was talking about my dad's dog. My, my dad's dog is a beagle. I think he's got a little something else in him, but like something else be uh, hound wise. But right. he's, um, you know, my dad, my dad grew up with beagles all his life, and I was just like, so how do you train him to hunt? And he's just like, you just put him in the woods, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and like and control with, it. Yeah, <laughs> with, with this one, he wanted to try different stuff, so he got he got uh, like uh, rabbit estrogen or whatever the hell it was, and put it on like a tampon and dragged it through the yard and stuff, okay. and like put you know just. Tried to get use a cotton ball, but just saying. Well, just <laughs> my dad, my dad just grabbed. So he's like, "Oh, it's got a string." So I just grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's how my dad makes operates. Sense? No, <laughs> <laughs> but um, he tra- he was doing it when he was just a baby. Like yeah. this dog was, you know, yeah, uh, he wasn't even a year. He was less than six months old when he was just trying to see what he would do. Right. Yeah. And yeah. immediately just started bang. You know, all. The beagle's gonna bark. He barks at everything that comes by. Like he's a hound. Bicyclists and motorcycles. He loses his shit. I'm yeah. so happy my dog is deaf now. <laughs> by the way. So it's fucking great. That, <laughs> oh yeah, that's he right. Adam's dog. Anything. Adam's dog's a he beagle. He used to so. bark all the time at yeah. everything. Right. Tiniest little noise. He'd go crazy. And now he's lost his hearing in his old age. Doesn't yeah. even hear us come in the house. He's surprised <laughs> <That's> by <laughs> it. It's amazing. Oh, wow, that's a yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So oh, you yeah. know, we put him out in the woods and. He's great. He does really, really, really well. Um, my father says he's the best hunting dog he's ever had, and this he's he gets on a yeah. rabbit. You can hear him bang. You know, the bay is totally different from a bark. Like uh, people have, uh, um, uh, when we were on our way back from the hunt, he picked up a rabbit, but we were too close to houses, so we were, we didn't have any. You know, we right, weren't loaded, right, yeah, so yeah. we couldn't do anything. Yeah. We just had to let him run run the rabbit till the rabbit found the hole. Yeah. And then people were coming out of their houses thinking that the dog was in trouble. <laughs> 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 like, it was getting attacked because yeah. of the way he's, he like, was... losing his shit. Yeah, yeah. But um, I've had this dog, you know, he just takes the thing right into a circle, brings it right back to you, boom, yep. and it's and it's good. Absolutely. But once in a while, and it's it's not... It was once in a while. Now it's a little bit more lately... He's been going after. We think it's deer. We're pretty sure it's deer because okay. we we've tracked him, and he, I'm talking miles. He's gone miles. Where oh, we've wow. tracked oh. him, his foot. You know, we can hear him, so we know what direction he's going. So we're trying to find him. We find his tracks and uh, hoof prints. Yeah, alongside yeah. it. So we're just fi- tracking. Oh, track. Yeah, he goes across the road. He goes into somebody's yard. He's in like in a neighborhood now. Right, right, right. And we right, have right. to go. And you're walking with rifles. With rifles. That's, yeah. In through, orange. Through <laughs> we're try, well, yeah, we're just trying to get the guy back, but he's you know. And my dad isn't so sh- like he gets so he gets so angry because he's the dog was so good for so long, and now he's kind of like taking liberties. Yeah. So he just doesn't know what to do. How old is he? Oh God, he's five. Like five years old around there. Five or six, okay. somewhere in there. Okay, I yeah, they're, they're, I mean, well, hunting is my thing. That's mm-hmm. like, I, 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 I focus on hunting training. I do a lot of professional hunting training. It's mm-hmm. like one of my favorite things to do. Um, the, every dog will hunt. Every right. single dog will hunt. Every dog. Nah, he I goes mean, after every, anything that moves in the backyard, he's going after. Yeah, pit bulls are some of the best pointers, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I have an American bulldog. You know, I rescued him at six months old. He was, I mean, he was abused to hell. Um, we got him out of the shelter. Uh, uh, the, you know, My, ears my were, dog, Clover, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he had his, like, ears cut off of garden shears. Like, they, oh, I mean, they cool. literally tortured his poor right, dog. She wasn't that bad. You know, yeah. Now, <laughs> now he's like a therapy dog. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's oh, really? the sweetest dog in the Is entire Is he the planet. white one in the pictures yes, that I saw? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, he's a good looking dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 like my uh, my kid's shadow. <laughs> um, but man, can he point? He, you know, he can point solid. He's he's a great dog. He's very gentle. He and when you mean point, is it like the whole like typical foot up, like straight as an arrow thing, or yeah. like he is a different kind of posture? Pointing than typical. Pointing is actually a. Um, it's it's the way they communicate with each other when they stalk an, uh, when they stalk prey. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll follow a leader. So that's one of the things. It's like what your your dad's dog. Um, mm-hmm. You know the the reason he's running so far is because there's no established leadership there. You know oh, okay. he, he loves your dad. He sees him as pack. He mm-hmm. understands that, and they're hunting together. But at this point, it seems like your dad should be following him versus him following your dad. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. the structure. That's it's just a little tweak. You've just got to kind of <clears> change that. But um, you know he'll hunt anything. I mean mm-hmm. you know you, you, 
you could uh, my I have a Brocco Italiano puppy. Um, well, puppy, I say he's uh, two years that? old. It's uh, <laughs> I'll look that up now. You you keep going. Brocco I'll look Italiano. It up. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> he's uh, um, in Italy. They're pointers. They call them pointers. But you take a look at that picture and you tell me that's not a hound. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. So um, but uh, I won't. I I digress. I will. <laughs> I will not get involved with that conversation. It's um, like it's like his version of the Starbucks macchiato thing. It's a, <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah. That you know, he's he's great. He's versatile. He'll do rabbit, fox. He'll do bird, uh, even waterfowl. You know, and and uh, he's not. <laughs> he's gangly little thing so he doesn't really uh you know swim very well like my lab but he'll do it you know he'll yeah. definitely do it uh you know it's just that when i say hold they hold you know if i say leave it they leave it it's 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 if 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 we go out hunting and i get like three birds you know and that's all i'm going to be able to eat and use yeah. uh you know and we walk the mile out and i walk back they're pointing more birds it looks like a yeah. melting cocker spaniel <laughs> 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 or not cocker spaniel it, what are the uh yeah, are the, spaniel. looks like a big basset hound basically. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're amazing, amazing, amazing dogs. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I got my guy uh, from uh, Lean Conrad down at uh, in uh, Colorado. Flew down there to get them. All so, right, cool. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, very popular in Italy. Actually, like it's almost like the Labrador Retriever here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're everywhere in Italy. They're great dogs. Super, super driven dogs. How many dogs do you have? Now three. Three. Yeah, I had four. My my sixteen and a half year old lab died. About is that, four weeks ago. Wait a minute. Was that the that. Uh, Angus? Hold on a minute. I'm gonna see something because I might have shared a picture when I shared the post. Yeah, I might, I might have, have shared a picture. Of you. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I saw it. No, 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 no. No, yeah. I saw that. That was that was no, no, no. That wasn't him. No, no. That's a local breeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's yeah. No, it's a puppy. Opened up an old wound. That old, that old face. Start crying. There was some comedian. I don't know who it was, so I can't credit him. But he's like, I hate the memories on Facebook because. They keep showing me pictures of my dead dog and ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's it's so true. It's, it's just so like four true. years ago. Would you like to share this? No, I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a great day today. Yeah, what the? actually, that, that's so funny. It popped it up did, today. Did it with, uh, well, it did it with that picture I had of Clover uh, yeah, a while ago. It just popped yeah. up today, a picture yeah. of Clover of just, you know, yeah. the... The saddest dog in the world photo, or That's whatever it. the hell. That, Jesus Christ! Because it was yeah. like you know, it was uh, you know what? It's yeah, almost a y- it's a little over a year that, yeah. that when she passed away. So oh, I was just like, was... oh damn it! I know, right? Just when I was getting <laughs> over it, yeah. just rub that that thorn in my side. That's a funny. <laughs> that's that's an that in itself is an interesting topic. Uh, I don't know if we want to put a pin in it. Do you guys, you need to take a break or? Um, I'm okay for right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. Um. That's an interesting topic in itself is just uh, like losing a dog, you know, when when Clover died, I was I was shot. I was dead for for at least yeah. a week or two. I, I was like I was just not myself. He was a mope. Yeah. He didn't oh, do, yeah. he didn't do jack shit. Yeah. Yeah. F- for until like and I know that they kind of he kind of I could tell he was following our lead yeah. like okay, so we're still in mourning. Okay. Yeah. You know, and then you know, snapped out of it. He snapped out of it. And I, well, and, you yeah. know, my wife was worried that he's like, oh, he's gonna be so depressed because he lost his friend and this and that. Because we got him it, when he was eight weeks old, so he's be, he was with her the entire the entire time. She she like basically, you know, that was that was her her baby practically. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's, that's... she was like, oh, wait, we should get another dog. I'm like. One dog is easy. Two dogs is a pain. I mean, for yeah. us, you know, for some people it's different. But for one dog, I just give him to my sister-in-law, and she takes care of him for the weekend, and we can go. Right. Two no, dogs, I agree. it's yeah. a bit of a pain in it's, the ass. Yes. So, but she was like, oh, should we get him another? Should we get another dog so he has a friend, so he's not so lonely and everything? I'm like, he's only... He's only going to be de- depressed for as long as we're depressed. I think he's yeah. probably so just going to move yeah. past it eventually, I would imagine. Yeah. He's been fine ever since. Well, like, yeah. He's just, that's, well, this know, is a great example. He's a like, happy son of a bitch all the time. So. Yeah. Well, this is like absolute great example of like human behavior. Like, like who's to say he ever gets depressed? Who says dogs yeah. get depressed at all? Yeah. You know, it's 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 <clears throat> the, the way I see it. The way I see it is that dogs are very, like I said, they're very introvert. They they stick. They're born in the pack. They die in the pack. Yeah. Um, and that's that's it. They don't go to work. They don't they don't they don't do anything. They hunt together. They they groom. They sleep. Everything. They feed together. Um, so my perception of what, uh, they feel when they lose a member is a lack of security because now there's one less, uh, for the survival of the pack. And so, that makes sense to me right? because it seems like he's done that, uh, that 
bark thing when people come by. Right. That built that was building that was like that was that's been a new thing for a while. Yeah, because he's stepping up now. Yeah, yeah. So he's trying to increase the security of the pack. So that's that's so that's the thing is whenever I've seen like a um it just even feral dogs, like you know, you go down to like Ferry Point Park in the Bronx. I mean, there's feral populations of dogs um just running around. And you know, when you lose a uh, a lower member in the pack, you know, somebody who's a hunter but just not, you know, not breeding, uh not not really overly dominant. Um, you know, the pack, you could see the pack dynamics change, but, um, only from members who were below him. So, yeah. so for instance, like if they lost their alpha, the whole pack would be in, 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 in disarray. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, y you'd have a lot of fighting amongst, uh, other dogs that are really, really dominant and a lot of like killing of other dogs, you know, whereas that, that alpha kept organization, kept leadership in that pack. Hmm. Um, so, you know, when, when a dog dies in a family, um, you know, if you stepped up and took over and showed that safety and security, all right, guys, we're all okay. We're yeah. all going to eat tomorrow. Uh, nobody's going to be, you know, coming into our territory and, 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 and destroying things, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so assuming that leadership role definitely can help subside any, what we would consider mourning for the dogs. Hmm. So, yeah, but, but that's, that's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the thing is like who who knows I mean so we're kind of personifying the the our emotion onto the dog right right yeah. right 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 yeah. right and that's that's you know it's 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 to say like you know who's to say dogs mourn at all because you know I'll, I'll get a little weird here you know sometimes people think no I go for a little, it a little weird here but like <laughs> let's you're just, in good company yeah that's a <laughs> I have a fucking there's a dummy sitting that's next a, to you with he, with headphones on sorry Tim. I know I think he talked to me actually <laughs> you know mean anything about it. howdy doody um but. Yeah, no, I, I so so I mean some some people say that dogs have the ability to see spirits. I mean, you know, they the cats were the guardians of of souls, well, you I know. I do know and, that my dog is fixated on a didgeridoo that my mom got me for me from Australia and it was like a traditionally made didgeridoo. Well, hollowed out by like termites so she had to smuggle it into the country wow <laughs> <laughs> and he just sometimes he just stares at it and then he'll back up and whine and then bark at it and then other days it's like it's not even there it's not yeah, yeah. in my yeah. old apartment we um the apartment we used to live in was uh the landlord used to live there with her husband he died she moved downstairs and then rented out the old apartment right he had been uh. dead for some time but my cats both cats used to stand in this one corner and meow up into the, up into the corner where the ceiling and the walls met. Like yeah. you know, it just they just meow into that. And Clover used to just sleep there right. all the time. There's right. her bed was at is over there. She had two different beds. Right. She's sleeping on the carpet and like in this corner. Yeah, constantly. Yeah. So yeah, we well, always used yeah. to say the old man's screwing around. That's like, it. <laughs> that's what we well, always used to say. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I've mentioned things like that before. That you know, um, look at all the stories, the, the 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 evidence out there of dogs that when their owners die, they show up at the church or they're laying on their graves and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, who's to say that they're that that they're not seeing something that we can't see? I mean, they can smell better than we can. They can hear better than we can. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they're way oh, more not connected. My dog. <laughs> they're uh, oh, poor puppy. <laughs> yeah, but they're way more connected to this planet. I mean, yeah. you know, you get a, a, a hurricane coming through, and you know, all the wildlife's gone. They, they yeah, flew they, away. They ran away. Yeah, they yeah, took they a shelter. Sense the the drop in pressure, yeah. and they know. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're getting our shorts on going to the beach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and here comes a hurricane. Ignoring <laughs> the ignoring the fucking evacuate from the weather service. Exactly. exactly. You just gotta hide your car. That way, when the cops come by, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. No, that, but yeah, it's it's uh, you know, it's um. Who's to say that they don't, you know? So it, how can you say they mourn if they still can see? Yeah. Oof. Just, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> see, I, I mean, like a less, like, spiritual aspect of it. I always thought that it was, like, maybe a pattern he didn't like on it or something like that. <laughs> of like, course. that was just That was just my, like... Could be. If it's Could not, be. if it's not there. some Australian ghost, yeah, some, <laughs> some, yeah. you have an Aborigine yeah. 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 <laughs> living with you. So oh my God, can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just a, an Aboriginal guy just staring at you while you sleep. That's super creepy image. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's got a fucking blowgun. Oh yeah. man. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it. I mean, we used to have a dog that was afraid of the kitchen tiles. Right. Just the kitchen tiles. It was this one, you know, eight by eight space. He wouldn't walk on it. And if you put him on it, it was as if 
it was as if it was a glass floor on the top of a fucking skyscraper. The, you yeah, know, he yeah, looked at it as if he was going to fall and die. <laughs> Dax, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Uh, and we would yeah. we would put him on it, like, tr- just be like, no, it's fine. And he would just drop on all fours and start shaking. Yeah, yeah. And then crawl kind of slowly, and then all of a sudden take off. Yeah. And it was like he'd do, like, burnouts on the tile. Like, yeah, hyper-focus. And I, yeah, yeah, and that, I think that it was just the pattern in the tile just freaked him out. Yeah, yeah. You I've know? seen dogs like that yeah. where they're, they're like... hyper-focus? I heard they're you just, say hyper-focus. Yeah, hyper-focused on the floor. They're just, uh... Mm. Like so it, he's 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 looking at it so deep that it's start, like it's he's just petrified uh, of it. Yeah, yeah I mean it, it's it, like it, I always it's, thought it's like that a maybe magic it was guy. Like, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was about to say. Like <laughs> yeah. I always thought that maybe that was what it was. Like how he was perceiving his environment was totally different than yeah. what we saw. Just a pattern on a tile floor. Yeah, but yeah. It, uh, he would freak out. I had, like, yeah. Well, if he ever needed to, uh, the, it, the kind of good part was that was the way you got in the kitchen. Oh, okay, was yeah. to go through that tile floor. <laughs> so. um to try and get him over it, we started putting his food in the kitchen. Yeah. And he would, like, work his way up to running across it. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was yeah. like a trial yeah. for him every day. Yeah. And it got to the point where he was having so much trouble with it that we just stopped trying to trying fix it. To, yeah. And he yeah. just didn't go in there anymore. I, yeah. I had a yeah. dog like that once. Um, we were training for a service dog. He's a puppy. And, you know, first time at the Galleria Mall. and. Walked in there and the dog's like, ah, no, I don't think so. And it just like froze up. <laughs> and the dog was like stepping like he was walking on ice. And, you know, huh. I mean, you whip out a piece of bacon, that dog walked across it like it was nothing. <laughs> so, you know, it's, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All so, right, it's, so, uh, yeah, that it's makes a lot of sense. Getting them all like that. that, that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I do need to d- take a break. I thought yeah, I can hang, but I can't. <laughs> I had, <laughs> Usually by this point, I've had five beers. That's why I haven't, I don't have to pee yet. Nice. But uh, we'll we'll take a quick break. We will um, go out on uh, Babe Patrol, right? Yeah, the soothing sounds of Babe Patrol. We uh, we did an interview with them at Darkside Bazaar uh, yesterday. Um, that interview will be up probably later on this week, sometime. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut Wednesday. together some clips uh, for YouTube, and then the full interview will be on our, cause I didn't get the whole interview on camera. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no, um, no, no. I'm going to put up the entire interview in its audio, f- in its audio form, uh, available for download. That's probably going to be a, probably, I would say Wednesday. Um, it's just going to be a, it's a, just going to be a separate little nugget. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we were, did about a half an hour with them. They were yeah. they were super cool. We talked about uh, yeah, they almost died. We talked about weaves, <laughs> and uh, I don't remember a bunch they, of stuff. They almost died playing, and we almost died. Of, we, everybody was just pretty much hanging on by a thread from heat. Like you know, nine, one, it was like ninety one, ninety two degrees. Or yeah, something. we're like you know if if we just didn't have a like a teaspoon, if we had a teaspoon less of water in our bodies, we would have we would all had fucking heat stroke yesterday. <laughs> it was succumbed. terrible. Uh, yeah. To come right. to Heathrow. So, yeah, hit that and we'll be right back. We're going right. to take a quick break and we'll be right back with and Dave. This is uh, Babe Patrol. Sorry, that wasn't it. <laughs> it's my fault because of the this is, this is This is to get back at you. I'm going to do it every opportunity I can. All right, we'll be back.
I am Andy Reid from Catskill Cabin Conversations on WGXC 90.7 FM. You're listening to Dead Radio Podcast. Enjoy. Do not fear. What's up? Did we do one of those with Francis Dean? I don't think so. No, we didn't. I feel like we did. I don't think we did. Mm. Got to be better about that. We should have done it with. Babe. Yeah. We should have done it with Babe Patrol too. Oh, absolutely. We're just, you know, yeah, we're, we're not, flying by the seat of our pants, man. We're not producers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we produce things, but we just got to write everything down. <laughs> anyway, we are back. I hope you enjoyed the soothing sounds of Babe Patrol from their album Roughed Up. Available now. Let me see the, uh, give me the info on that. Okay, there is none. <laughs> there is no info. I think it's um, um, uh, I'm Bandcamp. I'm sure you can get them on Bandcamp. Yeah, they're on Bandcamp. Uh, check them out on Facebook, mm-hmm. Bay Patrol. I think it's uh, at Bay Patrol Band. So, there you yeah. go. It kind of sucks that they're they didn't have just Bay Patrol. That means there is a Bay Patrol something else. Oh, I'm sure there is. Let's see so what it like is. Like a douchey website. <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm sure Babe Patrol on Instagram is something something with just hot girls on it. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, now I'm really curious. I'm going to check Facebook too in the meantime. But yeah, they were uh they were very cool. Helped us out um with an interview. Uh, that'll be up a little later this week. We also um we want to give a shout out to um, uh, uh, Frank uh, Palangi. He's a uh, solo artist. He, he performed there uh, yesterday. Uh, hopefully, he gets back to us. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the other guy there, uh, Mike, who is the um, sole um, creator for "Be Cool Cowboy." He was excellent. The motherfucker actually was standing up there with a guitar and a phone plugged into a PA system, and he was using his phone. <laughs> To create the drum tracks. Oh, wow. It was great. Not yeah. create the drum tracks on the fly, but he had yeah. them pre-programmed. But oh. yeah. it was great. He put on a great performance. It was just him. Usually he has studio guys or yeah. session musicians in, but nope, he didn't. Yeah. He They weren't available, so he just did his thing. So yeah, and he check out he Be Cool a, Cowboy as well. And he says he does a ton of how-to videos, uh, which we should... Is it under the same name? Do we? I know? have no idea. Um so yeah, try and try and find him on YouTube. We don't have the uh, info queued up yet. And also, blackbearsonbathsalts.com. Um, hopefully, again, another uh, guy I spoke to. His name is uh, uh, Ryan Birakri. He's a propi- uh, proprietor and taxidermist of all kinds of weird shit. It was just. Didn't he have a, like a lock of Charles Manson's hair? He had a lock of Charles Manson's hair in a vial. He had vials of oh. of um of um um uh what was it uh what's the term I'm looking for? It, were, like in the formaldehyde. preserved, yeah, yeah preserved like formaldehyde. Formaldehyde jars filled with like eyeballs and <laughs> toes and all kinds of weird shit. It was <laughs> like that kind of like oddities type store and he is online at blackbearsonbathsalts.com check him out too man because i basically i told him i was like i want to buy a apothecary cabinet for my living room and fill it with all of your things (laughs) all of them he just had the wildest weirdest shit so yeah check out all those guys um yeah we had a lot of fun yesterday i had a shit ton of fun you when you got there i was just like fucking over the moon with all the mm-hmm. it was it they called it a bazaar and that's a better way of of mm. describing it than a flea market because yeah. bazaar also implies that it is bizarre and it was it was all just weird characters that yeah. you know th- these guys uh the dark side guys have you know hooked up with and that's kind of how they want it yeah they want weird musicians or they want good bands and weird Stuff. Y- you know, just weird stuff, and they pff, mission yeah. accomplished, man. I ho- I can't wait to the next one. Yeah, even if yeah, we're not of really a, even if we're not oh. a part of it, I wanna I wanna just I'm I'm just gonna hang out there all day. Mike Bleakley said they have zebra blood. Yes. Yeah, he had zebra, zebra blood. blood. Thank you, Mike, for letting us know on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> and old like also, thank you, thank you for <laughs> listening to the live show in the middle of the day on a Monday. Yeah, goddamn right, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably fucking at work. Oh, and a, <laughs> Mike Bleakley is a satisfied customer of uh, the barbershop by Francois. 
Mm-hmm. He uh, he hit me up on Facebook asking me where to get his hair cut, and I said, if you had listened to the podcast, you would fucking know, douche. <laughs> but I gave he him is, the information he anyway. Made up for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave him the information anyway, and uh, he went there, and he's super, super happy. So, uh, yeah, if anybody's looking for a haircut... Check out Barbershop by Francois. That's twice in one month. Yeah. That's it. It's more than he got paid. More than he paid for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are um, we're still we are still talking to uh, Dave Curliner from uh, Canine Tactics. It's uh, eight uh, at Canine Tactics Training on uh, Facebook. Wait, hold on, let me get that right. Yeah, at Canine Tactics Training on Facebook. Canine Tac K dash Nine Tactics dot com. Um, can I give out your email and your phone number too? Uh yeah uh, you could, yeah <laughs> email, uh, email him yeah. at packanimal at live dot com his uh, number is eight four five six three six eight nine two two um yeah check out the website you pretty much cover all the bases when it comes to animal behavior and training I was just yeah. you know I'm, yeah I have to do I have to research everyone that comes in, and I was uh-huh. reading your I was reading your your page your your website, and I was just like, how the fuck am I going to sum this up in a Facebook yeah. post? <laughs> it's like every it's like a whole list of stuff that you've yeah. you're qualified for. It's pretty yeah. basically it's just it's it's developing um, a bond, <laughs> uh, developing communication. You know, without communication, there's confusion, and right. confusion is scary. Since now, do you ever work with any other animals, like for clients, or is that just stuff that you've done at the? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll work with cat behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, know, I got a cat for you. I, yeah, <laughs> I was going to ask if you can train it to drown itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can train That's my cat yeah. to kill himself and leave <laughs> that, that, a nice <laughs> note, not blaming <laughs> us, <laughs> that would be great. Cats, yeah, cat, cats, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is cats a f- are. Fucking bastard. Well, the solitary animals. They they, yeah. they don't want to be in the house. They don't want to be. Yeah, yeah, with each other. They're they're um yeah completely different mentality than dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. But I've. Done... What's the weirdest pet you've ever trained? The weirdest pet. Yeah. Pet. Yeah. You can't be like. I, I want to hear like a uh, fucking serval. That. Like yeah. A, oh, I have. Yeah. Like a yeah. bush baby. Yeah. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> bush. <baby. laughs> uh. Oh man, um, <laughs> I've had people ask me about their like their lizards and stuff like that. I've worked with a lot of primates. I don't think that's weird though. I mean, it's I wouldn't own mo- one. It's, it's weird uncommon. For yeah, it's yeah, uncommon yeah. is a better okay, word, yeah, way to yeah. put it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, do, I, do you do a lot of people like own primates as pets? I mean, I know it was kind of a thing in the '90s. Like people were all about yeah. getting a, like a spider monkey or some shit. Until yeah. that woman got her face ripped off, and then that yeah, was well, the that end was, of that. that was yeah, a gym. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not no New York. You, you, you can't. It's, you it, can't have it, a gym. exotics or yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, you know, but but I do travel a lot, and mm-hmm. going down, you know, down to like the Midwest is every anything goes. Yeah, uh, Pennsylvania, well. anything yeah, goes. Give you know, your monkey an AK forty seven. Totally. Fine. Yep. I, I had okay. You so can have your monkey. His, Stand on the hood of your truck while you're in a Walmart right. and defend it as <laughs> a part uh, of your home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the, the, the weirdest thing was I got called out to Pennsylvania once years ago um, that their bat was depressed, and I was like, "I will take this lesson. <laughs> yes, I, I will, want. I want to see. I that. will do this for free." <laughs> Um, and what happened with the, what? What happened with the bat? People are freaking Zola. Yeah, it was. A, <laughs> it was just. <laughs> I don't know. It, I mean, awesome, awesome, cool, like bat, very friendly, very awesome. You know, just like I was handling oh, like, like a fruit bat. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah he was one of those just, big ass, the scary looking ones that aren't scary at all. They just eat fruit. Just, yeah, it's like the rodent with wings. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. They're, they're not the little actually, tiny they, ones that you see flying around. No, at the campfire. No, no that's like at, at the zoo oh. we worked with uh, Rodriguez fruit bats, which are like little. They're, they're called flying fox, and they actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are cool looking. They're so cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like I can tell you a, a story. Big dog nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear, and they're they're super friendly too, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that I guess that makes a little bit more sense. A funny little thing now that we're talking about bats we were out um that's me that? that's airbnb <laughs> thing um we were out back with um uh, karina and jessica uh, jessica's my sister-in-law karina's his girlfriend and um i was standing there talking and all of a sudden karina gets hit in the face with something from over from the darkness and i'm like who's <laughs> over there throwing shit and <laughs> then i look over and she's fighting off a fucking bat. <laughs> Hit her in the face. 
And she's like, Gah! oh what? man, that, she like slapped she, it off. Did she get cut or scratched it at all? It squeaked and flew away. And she was like, what? She huh. they're in my hair. No, That's she was it. a fucking champ. Yeah. She handled that. I would have been. I would have screamed <laughs> and ran inside. I would have been up. screaming <laughs> around. My hands flying in the air. She was just like, she she like got it out of her hair. She checked herself for scratches, and she was like, "Was that a bat?" Yeah, that. <laughs> Jesus! And then just sat back and like, "All right, another marshmallow." Yeah, that. Is... <laughs> it was weird, man. I That's really wish champ. I had that that you screaming when you dumped your wine on the table. I, I yeah, I don't have it because yeah. it's not like tight. I gotta I know. make a tighter version I of that. That would have been great. That, uh... Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, she oh, just man. got fucking hit with a bat. Like, and I was like. This. Somebody did my neighbor throw something at us? Are we being too loud? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're squeaking and flapping, and I was like, ah. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> but we all just man. stood I, there and stared at her for her reaction, and yeah. she it, cool as a cucumber. The, I couldn't believe it. it was <laughs> she probably still should get tested for, for rabies. <laughs> rabies so. Yeah, I was yeah, just gonna say she's yeah. fine. Even That's well, a, even, even if she didn't get scratched, like. Well, a bite can look like yeah. a mosquito bite. Yeah, ah. she should probably get checked I'm out. I'm pretty sure she's fine. Yeah, uh, but rabies doesn't. Listen present... to me when I st- <sighs> no, I'm not, I'm telling you right oh, okay, now, yeah, yeah. She's, she's fine. She's had some blind fine. tests. Yes, yeah. little saying. foaming Jesus at the Christ. mouth is nothing. Nothing <laughs> just, wrong with just that. Take it from me, she's fine. She's, yeah. <laughs> little crazy and foaming at when the I mouth. When I said did she get tested, you could have just said yes. It's just would have ended the conversation. Yeah, because rabies doesn't present any symptoms until it's too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you're symptomatic of rabies. Is you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, uh, yeah, I uh, get it. But she's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> she's fine. She's still alive. It's been ten days. <laughs> that's Jesus. Oh Christ. man. So um, yeah. Uh, did you want to do what you're drinking too? Yeah, well, let's do that real quick. Uh, you got you got something to try as well. Right? Yeah, I got a. Um, we can't have a lot of it. Um, because it's Brooke got it for herself, and I'm sure she'd share with me. But if I just, I kind of, she's not here to ask if I could start. No, taking no. I just want, I just want a it. tiny, tiny little taste. Yeah. Um. Here, you can go ahead because I've already tried it, but save me half of that. This is uh, the oh, most. Get more than half of it. The most righteous New York Straight Bourbon Whiskey by Catskill Distilling Company, and uh, they oh, wow. they are out of um, uh, Bethel, New York, and. I've never seen this before. This is Neither a new one. I. She found this at, uh, I want to say she found it at Arlington. Um, it's um, I found a perfect environment. Uh, they use mountain water and local, uh, locally grown grains. And yeah, man, I thought it was pretty good. It's a little bitey, so be prepared for that. The bottle's impossible to read because it's like a honeycomb type thing with gold and black lettering. So it's like... You have to get you right know, up close to it. How I would describe it is a really, really, really good Jack Daniels. Yeah, uh, yeah. It smells. It smells. It's got like spilled a. Spilled it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it doesn't have that vanilla flavor that yeah. you get a lot from whiskeys. It's it more reminds, of. It reminds me of like when Jack Daniels single barrel is on point when it's a really good one. And this is a. But I haven't barrel. had it. Haven't had it in years. But it's um, oh, no, it's, it's a little bitey. Uh, definitely very like Did you want to try? northeastern you want to try? northeastern yeah, kind of bourbony flavor. Uh, yeah, it's local. You said, yeah, uh, from Bethel. Yeah, Bethel, New York. So, yeah, that's that's nice. It's nice. Got, yeah, that's it's, really nice. It's really good. Like I taste. Uh, I it's wow. mostly caramel and a mm-hmm. coconut and um, a leather. I yeah. And that's but I mean you know you know you know me that's with my fucking solid. The way I taste so it's, so it's a bourbon really, though. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what just happened? Hello. I don't know. Hello. Hold check, on. check, 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 check. Check. I lost my mic there check, for a minute. Check, check. That's weird. Uh, yeah, so it's from, uh, it's the Most <clears throat> Righteous from Catskill Distilling Company. I would recommend checking this out to anybody who's, I mean, anybody who's into kind of bitey whiskeys. <laughs> it's you know. not like, um, we tried it. Mm-hmm. You know, we tried it the other night, and I had a little bit, and then we went back to it, and then just put a little, you know, a table, uh, a tablespoon of water in two fingers, and it was perfect, you know? It's... And a little bit of ice, too, would probably, you know, be fine, but the way, the uh, I don't know, for anybody who doesn't know, the best way to drink any kind of whiskey or scotch or anything like that is straight up with a tablespoon of whiskey, uh, a tablespoon of uh, good, clean water mm-hmm. in it. 
Um, well, and another and thing is it's also made with uh, Catskill Mountain spring water. Yeah. So is, we, uh, yeah. this is going to be a little bit mineral content and everything in there, too. So, uh, yeah. And I also, yeah. I was drinking Glutenberg Red Ale, but we all know about <laughs> gluten. All of us, all of us gluten-free people know about Glutenberg. And if mm-hmm. you don't, you should. That, I was gonna, it, yeah. just going to say. Except I'm, for I, all you people who don't have celiacs, and then you should just drink a fucking beer. Yeah. <laughs> Assholes. I was just going to say that the, the Scottish and Irish in me says the proper way to drink whiskey is just Pop that cork. Yeah, in. straight up. Yeah. Straight. Just oh, the first sip should be straight out of the bottle. That is nice. That is nice. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah, Christen yeah. the bottle with some yeah. drool. That's yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I am drinking uh the cold one, spelled with a K, uh, from Millhouse Brewing Company, which is uh a stone's prob- throw away. Yeah. Our uh our uh, probably premier local brewery. I would say I mean, premier they, local yeah, brewery. I yeah. think Hyde Park Brewery for as, as go fuck themselves. As good as they were. <laughs> I don't know. Wh- now. Yeah, I don't know what they're. Yeah, they doing got a now. good burger. That's all they got going for them. I've never been there. Don't. Oh. Don't even bother. There was um, a time where there was a time where I tell you absolutely go there, but now yeah. I like their beer. I, their beers are shit. They've been shit for almost a decade. Wow. Oh. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Uh, did, maybe they try. We're trying to cut costs or something. But <sighs> I went in there and I got um, whatever bullshit thing they were calling an IPA. <laughs> And it, it tasted like fucking lemon pledge. Oh god, it was awful. Oh wow, yeah. So I'm I'm never going back there. Wow. Um, another one that's kind of shit is uh, the Gilded Otter. <laughs> that was that was the <laughs> original. That place was great. There. It yeah. was great. Yeah. It, it, but the food that they had it has always been meh. Whatever. Yeah. And it never paired what they usually had. I haven't been there in a long time, to be perfectly honest. Oh wait, hang what, on, hang on. To alcohol. The Someday we'll remember to do it at the beginning. solution to all of life's problems. We used to go there, and it just kind of fell off, so I don't know, whatever. <laughs> you know, all their, their beer, food all never their paired well with their beer. amateur. Super really? amateur. Oh, man. Um, that's, that's... It, it tastes like, oh, this tastes like what my uncle's friend made out of a Mr. Beer kit. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's just, they're using a lot of extracts, I think. It's just, it's yeah. just crap. Uh, and, but, and, but but Millhouse Mil- Millhouse, anyway. Millhouse came oh, around man. before yeah. uh, after I got diagnosed, so uh, I can't I haven't been able yeah. to try any of their stuff. They uh, I, they make a quality beer, a really crushable liquid is this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what they say in the industry. <laughs> it's a crushable liquid. Um, so this is uh, but the you know they make quality quality beer. They got pretty good food. Oh, food's awesome. Uh, it's a neat, it's a pretty good environment. You know, it's a nice place to hang out. But you know, it it was one of those odd situations where they had the funding and the vision, and that all lined up. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. it it doesn't always happen. You can right. throw a ton of money at something if oh, yeah. if the vision is crap, it's going to be crap. Yeah. So and they everything really came together for them. It's a great spot. Um, it's a little busy for my taste nowadays, so I don't <laughs> go as much as I used to. But uh, you know, and now there's there's some pretty good places like right around the corner. So why am I going to drive across town? But now that they're canning. And yeah. selling stuff. I bought this at Rite Aid. So yeah, Rite Aid on Hooker Avenue. Yeah, awesome. has, um, how convenient. Yeah. It's awesome. So, but this is their German style Kolsch. It is just a straight up solid Kolsch beer. You can you can't sit here and do a half hour review over a Kolsch because they've been done to death. But this is really well done. It's super drinkable. I'm. This is my third one. I'm not drunk at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's only four four point six percent alcohol. So it's really sessionable, uh, and it's definitely something that if you are not a big beer drinker and you want to go out to a nice dinner, go to Millhouse Brewing Company and get this. If you like Coors Light, you're definitely going to like this, but it's such higher quality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a beer that anybody will like, um, and I think that that's why th- this is the first one that they canned and started distributing. Yeah. And I think that was a good choice. The second one was the Cucumber Cream, which surprises me. Bold. Because that's a bold awesome, choice, man. but they fucking knew... That it would sell. Yeah, you were saying you got a sixer from uh, Sixel. Yeah. Sixel. Oh, what did I say? Sixel. Sixel. Yeah. Sixel. Yeah. I'm a fucking <laughs> from for my wedding. So you, yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. guys taking the pot too? That, that, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I suck. Yeah, I trained yeah. a dog for one of the brewers, and, yeah, yeah. and yeah, just super awesome guy. I mean, that 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 I love that place. My wife and yeah. I eat there all the time. We drink there all the time. Those goddamn and Buffalo and Brussels sprouts are the greatest oh fucking thing God, on the planet so Earth. Good. Not as good as the <laughs> chicken wings. It's it's. <laughs> 
he can't have he can't, can't have the chicken the wings because they're it, brined in beer. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, All man. of their chicken is brined in yeah, beer. Yeah, everything's so brined fucking, in beer. Yeah. I can't have any yeah. chicken that's, when I'm there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but, um, that's, that's yeah. Anyway, getting back yeah. to it. <laughs> we got to get back to dogs eventually. Dogs yeah. and <laughs> animal am, aminals. Um, I was actually just, you know, just out of curiosity. Do you have a favorite breed? I know it's a very basic, silly question, but I'm just curious. I, I uh, a dog is a dog is a dog. I, you know, I, I, I love, I love, love, love the pit bull breed. I mean, you know, it's you know, they're they're. A jumble of everything sometimes, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, they're you know the most misunderstood animal in the world. Yeah, like twenty five years of training, I've never been bit by one. Knock on wood. Um, you know, I've been nearly hospitalized by a uh, golden retriever. Um, I've had Jesus. black labs meet me at the door. You know, ready to kill you. Um, you know, uh, most of your hunting breeds I find to be your more tenacious dogs. Obviously, my because, uh, yeah. my. Uh my my dad's beagle has, yeah. Oh, has, yeah. has gone after him for like trying to move him off a, a chair a that he kind of yeah. claimed yeah. you know yeah, and now they're like all right that's his chair yeah yeah you yeah. know pit bulls were known as the nanny dogs yeah. i mean you know my my 6 year old just like rides my dog around like a horse <laughs> she could do whatever she wants you know and, yeah. and it won't nothing um you know but i mean i i'd love that breed uh you know labradors Bracco italiano the, those are the you know uh, the Broncos, to me, have been some of the most driven dogs I've ever worked with in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, just incredibly, incredibly intelligent. Very, uh, very uh, uh, kind of, once you get the communication down in the structure, easy to work with and, and just very, very good dogs. Do you, do you find that there's a difference between a, a like a... I don't know what the word is, but a uh, um, a, a bred dog like a, with a, a specific pure a pure uh, purebred that was the word I, mm-hmm. for some reason I couldn't come up with it. Uh, a, a difference between a purebred dog uh, and a uh, just a, a mutt like Eisen is a mix of three different dogs, and you know, you know, a lot of a lot of like breed personalities will breed traits will actually stand out. Um, even in mixed breeds, you know, mm-hmm. I'll have like a pit bull lab mix and I'll see like all Labrador and dog or, mm-hmm. you know, mentality wise. Um, honestly, it, it really, every dog is different. It's like a person, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's like, you know, I, I'm Irish. You could tell my family is, you know, is certain Irish traits, but that doesn't make us any less of an individual. See, I would have pinned you, know, you so. for a Viking. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's that's the beard. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah. My last name is actually um, based off of Courland, which is actually a Viking territory. So we we do have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yay so me. We, we are Vikings. I, f- yeah. I, f- I flubbed it on the Babe Praise Patrol Odin. interview. I nailed it on this <laughs> yeah, one. That's it. Well, <laughs> so along those lines, um, and and I know that this is a big hot topic for a lot of people in your community, and a lot of people who like your mom, who's all about pit bulls as well. Uh, are there really any breeds that you notice a trend of higher aggression or harder to train? Because I've, you know, I've heard like, oh. I'll take a pit bull any day over like a, a Scotch Terrier or something like that, just because like they they're, they're yeah yeah you know a lot of your um, less popular breeds mm-hmm. are are being bred to a standard. Yeah. So, you know, uh, like, for instance, you could find pet quality Labradors, right? People breeding Labradors for temperament, which I have no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> I, I just, you know, it, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, you, could, you, could, you could see a huge variety of personalities within, like, a lab. However, like the Scotty, like you were saying, mm-hmm. Scotty's, I, every Scotty I've worked with has that stubborn, mm-hmm. super smart, super, you know, um, Super willing dog, you know. I and mean, is that is that just because there's a smaller breeding population, yeah. so they're more similar, a little bit more yeah. um, specifically bred, like the Bracco. I mean, yeah. you know, I've never met a Bracco that won't hunt, you know. Yeah. Um, whereas I've met labs that won't, you know. Yeah. And and labs are again, I've had, I have a lab now, a black lab, and my my uh, my sixteen and a half year old one died. Uh, recently, but um, you know, uh, I sixteen work and a half I hung in there though. Is this, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah. He's he's a champ. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the Labrador breeds, and and uh, but there's such a variety because they're probably the most bred dog. Yeah, you yeah. know, you have to really 
search for a good breeder. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas, uh, you know, Broncos, there's few and far between, you know, yeah. I, like I said, I went to Colorado to get mine. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's, uh, it really depends, you know, I mean, you know, y- your Chow Chows, your Akitas, you know, they're going to have uh, a higher tenacity. They're known for that, but they're very pack oriented. So, yeah. you know, they're very, very uh, great, usually with families and, you know, they just don't want to be bothered by outside influence, you know, hmm. so it's, it's, it really depends. So there know? is at least, you admit there's a differentiation. There is. But yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. some will lend towards certain things. I mean, right. like I'm definitely not trying to lead the conversation no, no, to no. like, but people demonize pit bulls and I think there are way, way I worse and more aggressive rarely. breeds out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've rarely met we, a pit bull. We had a Rhodesian Ridgeback and it was the worst dog we've ever had. Okay. That dog, it like I'm not going to lose a fi- I'm not going to lose a bold. finger to get on the couch. Right. You know, right, the, right. that dog ran the whole house, did whatever it wanted. Okay. And that was the dog with the tile floor actually. Okay. But okay. um it would be like, "Okay, Dax, get off the couch." Immediately showing his teeth, growling, that like yeah. licking the tongue out, right. tail between the legs and hair up on the back. Wow. And that hair know, too. Yeah, and yeah. the the ridge the, the ridgeback yeah, hair. He was, it stands up in a different way mm, and the yeah. way it's uh, cuz yeah. I've seen him in action. Yeah. The way it stood up, you're like Jesus! It yeah. was even more he threatening than the typical hair up to me. To me, incredibly at least. aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, when we adopted him, he was billed as a lab because they couldn't tell the difference as a puppy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, it was very obvious when he grew old because it was like, okay, this dog's a little too small to be a, a purebred like brown lab. Right. And uh, he was he was only about thirty five, forty pounds, but he was just all muscle. Probably about Eisen size, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. But He's he was a little bigger, maybe a little bit bigger, yeah. but like more wiry, and just you could like if you tried to take his food bowl away, he would bite you and draw blood. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's it's normal behavior. I'm not yeah. gonna, you know, I know people will argue with me about mm-hmm. that and say that's unhealthy yeah. and not normal, but it's t- completely normal. It yeah. sounds like an alpha quality dog, mm-hmm. you know. Put him with a, give him a bunch of uh, uh, twenty other dogs, let's say. He'll mm-hmm. run that pack like it's no business, yeah. nobody's business, you know, and they're going to stick very close to him because, mm-hmm. you know, of how aggressive he is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, know, I felt like it was just like I would never be the person who's like this dog needs to be put down because it's too aggressive. Right. But it was like you're in an environment with three kids in the house. Like you need to figure something out. Right. And my my mom wouldn't have it. Right. Yeah. She's like, I love the dog. We're keeping him. <sighs> Like there's, be... there was definitely somebody out there that could have handled that situation, yeah, but yeah. we didn't have the wherewithal to do it. So the dog was allowed to do whatever it wanted because it would bite you. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and no, he eventually, no, yeah. he eventually did get out, bite a neighbor, which is the and problem. then, yeah. and then we had, you know, he attacked the guy. Right. It was, it was a straight up, no questions. That, like he absolutely attacked someone. Yeah. yeah um. That's... So the judge was going to have him put down. We got a lawyer whole thing cost a lot of money and then mm-hmm. actually the pen that my chickens are in we have that because of him oh that would yeah. that's where the pen came <laughs> from yeah the dog <laughs> they, they gave they gave an order that the dog needed to be harnessed and muzzled at all times outside the house right. unless he was in a pen yep, yep. so yep. yeah they had to buy this huge like yeah. welded wire pen for him yeah. and yeah it was it was it was a tough situation that's and, rough yeah, yeah you know yeah. and it, i understand it's... where my mom was coming from and i never i was never like you should put the dog down, but I was like, you need. We need help here. Right, right, right. We need to bring someone in or have someone adopt him that can handle this kind of behavior. Yeah, you they, know, yeah, sanctuary, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. A place that, that that yeah. But you know, this is this is ten, twelve years ago at this point. So the yeah. the, the dog wound up running away. We don't know what happened wow. to it. Yeah. Um, okay. We have no idea. Wow. Well, so. Well. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's that's uh. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you have a dog that's mm. that 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 aggressive, you know, you mm. got to also think about like the people mm. who live around you. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, like you said, they mm-hmm. attacked your neighbor. You know, yeah, that's it's a yeah. big thing. I was uh, mm. actually um, uh, several years back. I was a dog control officer for East Fishco Police Department yeah. for for a long time, and you know, he see dogs at large all the time that are you know that are aggressive. I mean, you know, you're that's 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 uh. Very lucky you had the judge actually not put an order to, yeah, to kill it was, the dog. Yeah, it, uh, it took quite a bit, and especially because the, the guy who he attacked wasn't pressing charges. Okay. He um, What happened was he went to the doctor, 
Okay. And the doctor is legally required to report that it was a dog bite. To the health department, yeah. Yeah. No. So um, he went to the doctor. He needed stitches. I mean, it was it was a yeah. legitimate thing. Right. And then the doctor reported to police department. And my poor sister, she was 12. Oh, she was home alone at 12 years old. And the cops come with animal control and just take the dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They, they had a warrant. They walked right into the house. They wow. muzzled the dog, dragged him out while she's crying and screaming and trying to call my mom. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. And, no, and it, it, unfortunately, they have to do it that way because, like, if you have a dangerous animal and people know that you're coming, right. the, you're going to call them up and say, hey, we're going to come take your dog at 4 o'clock today. What do you think is going to happen? Right. Yeah. They're right. going to take off. Right. You know? Right, right, right. So I don't know what dog you're talking about. The dog ran away last week. That's, yep, you know? yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah that's rough. So, right. I was uh, messaged on Facebook to ask you about your Doberman. Oh, okay. Nanook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's my heart and soul. Yeah, that dog. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Is I, it... Uh, I mean... He died a while ago. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's he was a, a Schutzen trained dog. So I did a lot of German Der Schutzhund. It's a, the protection dog in German. It's um, a uh, basis of all police military dogs. Mm. They they do Schutzen. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did uh, search, rescue, tactical, various sur- variable surface tracking, no bite shit. work. Yeah. Was he all d- docked and everything like that? Um, I didn't do his ears. Okay. I didn't do his ears. And actually, European standard is not to do the ears. Oh, okay. Or the tail, for that matter. But here in America, they do the tail immediately. Which, Mm -hmm. if you're going to do it, you do it immediately. You know, so it's not not doesn't uh, affect the dog long term. Um, But yeah, no, that dog. Oh man, he knew four different languages. What the fuck? Yep. So we would speak. (laughs) We would speak it depending on the competition and everything. We would do the the different languages and Mm -hmm. you know, asi kushé, all the different commands. Uh, Holy shit, that's cool. It was it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, I was. I wanted to get uh, uh, like a Czech Shepherd or a Malinois um, or, or another Doberman, but uh, I was telling my wife that you know once we, we want to have one more kid, you know, and that you know Nanook was like my shadow, literally like my shadow. Um, but you know, again, when you teach a dog to do that, um, it's like walking around with a gun, you know. So you, you got to really have a, a huge amount of training and, and responsibility with the dog. And I wouldn't get a Shepherd if I wouldn't, you know, do what the shepherd is born to do mm-hmm. it's like my my lab hunts my my you know my proco hunts and my uh bulldog gets loved <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he protects yeah. the family that's what he does yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah no jesus no. how about that it's a fucking german there. police dog training that's yeah yeah doberman pinchers that's are intense unreal they're mm-hmm. so amazing i love doberman pinchers very 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 okay if i have to pick a breed <laughs> <laughs> well i mean they're uh, they're super uh, cool looking and they're like that iconic you know a, like a tack dog that you see in movies so everybody's like this they, is awesome they are yeah. and but here's just the, like, well yeah, the, the yeah. funny thing is with that you know you see the iconic attack dog thing they got the ears docked and the tail docked and everything but if you see one without all that shit full tail full ears you almost don't you almost you can't tell yeah. I've, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, I've seen a bunch I've seen a bunch where I'm like what kind of dog is this they're like oh it's a Doberman I'm like yeah. uh, like partial Doberman and oh, man they keep fucking messaging me and I keep getting fucking <laughs> um, I was like I was like, a Doberman, full bred Doberman? Oh, stop, stop messaging me. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, yeah, they, they, and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, he just has, he's not docked. Yeah. It's like, son of a bitch. Yeah. It's like yeah. a completely different looking dog. It's, we- it's weird. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, my, my mom had, uh, Danes and oh, she, I love them she didn't have them. Do- she had three at one time, which wow. is, a little that's men- a lot. She's though. mentally it's unstable. It's like three horses. <laughs> she has. I love your mom. She's awesome. No, nah, she's great. I mean, she's, <laughs> she doesn't fucking with her. But then, she had three of them at one time, and uh, that, that was brutal because they kind of all went like one after the other. Oh, that's know. rough. That wow, is rough. they only last like a couple years. I know. It's like eight, nine years, and then that's, that's it. But I, yeah, they weren't it's... docked. But and the funny thing is, like, um, their tails weren't docked, but. She had a good argument on why you should doctor tails because yeah. they were so big and their tails would swing so hard they'd crack them open against yeah. the walls. They she call, had blood yeah. stains all over her walls. Yeah, they call it happy tail. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah, dog yeah. would wag so hard and catch it on a corner. Yeah. And oh. the, the tail's this long. Yeah. yeah. So it's just whipping around the whole place, yeah. cracking the side of the leg and everything <laughs> like that. Yeah. Clear a coffee table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're, they're yeah. Yeah. wild, wild. Uh, but um, but yeah, the, doc- the 
the one the one dog she had was um uh, Sid, uh Sydney wasn't docked at all and you're almost like yeah. If she wasn't so goddamn big, you'd yeah. be like, what the hell kind of dog is that? But they're just there are certain, monster dogs. Yeah, certain places in Europe where uh, docking and cropping is actually illegal. Mm-hmm. It's cruelty. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, it's to cut the ears. I mean, I I, I never did it, uh, you know, to, to any of my dogs. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, some places won't even take dew claws off. So, you know, in. in uh, Oh, the thumb, the, the, the thumb, that like a little gangly thumb. thumb. Yeah, yeah, we had to get yeah. that taken. Uh, Clover had a uh, cancer, uh, had can like bone cancer in that in the dew claw, but they took it off. Just, yeah, it's easy fine. to get off. Yeah, yeah. and she yeah, got yeah. cancer in her face anyway. Oh, oh, <laughs> she oh, just she was a wreck. She's That's, an old yeah. English bulldog, you know, long okay. line of like you know just shitty breeding. I'm sure. Yeah, she was abused and everything yeah, like that. Food too, has yeah. everything has something to do. It, you know, it's it's uh, you know. Oh, quality, food, yeah. We, of food we played yeah. with her food for years trying to find the right balance because every single thing we'd give her, she'd have she'd get skin infections. Something going on. And then yeah. we'd get it, yeah. and then all of a sudden something else would affect her. And then yeah. we moved here, and then the cedar tree uh, made her face allergies, break. Yeah, yeah she yeah. got allergy to cedar tree. Yeah. It was just a nightmare. That dog Aww. was a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, man. Glad she's <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, don't say that. No, that's not, that's not nice. <laughs> no, but, uh, oh, yeah, man. it's... Um, no, just yeah, he told me down. that they put the dog down on the show. He's like, "So we put really? Clover down today." Oh, man. <laughs> <He's> like, dude, <laughs> the, I don't know. like. I'm, he I copes don't... through humor, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. Humor is my coping mechanism. Yeah. I don't really like. Okay. I get, I, I get upset in public weeks later, or but, I, I, I don't uh, get upset up <laughs> in public. I get upset in private, like. A week or two later, after anyone, a person, a human dies, yeah, yeah. and I get upset like way later. Yeah. And then I go, oh, okay, there it was. All right, now I'm better. And yeah. then I go about my day. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't hand, I, yeah. I, I, I like deal we with put our ashes crazy. in a bag in the urn so we could reuse the urn later right. for dog treats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, That's the a... bag, uh, just recently we, <laughs> we, we finally got rid of them. Mm-hmm. We just spread them around the lawn and everything. The bag ripped. So. <laughs> don't go, worry, I'm gonna watch it. Did it, it go out. in your face like the Big Lebowski? <laughs> no, actually, we did spread her ashes. I don't know if I talked about this on the show, but we spread her. We wanted to spread her ashes at the house here, my dad's house, and my mom's house because you know she we mm-hmm. you know she was used to play in both those yards all the time. And uh, when we went to my mom's house, she has a golf cart because she has like, five acres of property, so she drives around <laughs> the golf cart. So then, I did talk keep about going, it. Though. It's it's an old story, but yeah. um, so we I, we we put we put her ashes in like like solo cups for fuck's sake, and then we we drove around the golf cart and we were like you know just dumping out her ashes on the side, <laughs> but. It we it started okay, but then the ashes started like going onto the golf cart, and like you see chips of bone and everything falling on the golf cart, oh and then the god. wind kicked up and it blew it in my face. Oh my god! It was a fucking <laughs> dis- it was a complete fucking disaster. And my mom's oh trying my to put god. it on Facebook Live or whatever the hell it was at the time <laughs> to to post it, and it just it was a dis- it was a complete disaster. I'm <laughs> laughing the entire time. Oh my god! Because That's, of how bad yeah, it went. I, no. I get off. I'm like dusting myself <laughs> off. <laughs> your dead dog. Oh, I was, t- it was your terrible. dead dog had oh, permeated man. your t-shirt. Yeah. I, oh. oh man. I have I have all the ashes. They're getting buried yeah. with me. It's, yeah. it's it's they get they're getting buried with me. I don't <laughs> oh, another yeah, actually yeah. another uh, question. This is great because another question coming through on uh, Facebook. Ask David about his opinion on electronic containment. Because we had um, okay. for for here, we didn't have fence or anything, and because yeah. of Clover and how aggressive she was, we had to get an electric fence. We took we showed her once, and that was it. She knew exactly where the border was. Eisen followed her around, figured it out himself. They got the warning thing and everything. Yeah, and then you know they knew the the boundaries. Now I, that we have the yeah. fence, we had to, we had to coax him, right? We had right, to, right. You show him that it was okay now, and uh. then. He learned that the collar, he's. I think he's finally figured out that the collar, that specific collar, he knows he has only a certain space to go. But we don't use it anymore. Right. And, you know, he seems better now because of that. Yeah, opinion, I, I have mixed opinions on that. I, I, I I'm uh, okay as as a whole. Um, I'd rather your dog get shocked than hit by a car. Yeah. I mean, 
I guess yeah. that's the better of the two evils. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I think my I, the reason not to yeah. I don't mean to stop you, but I think the reason why it was my mom that asked it. Um, I, you know, her dog Jack got hit by a car. Right. Thousands and thousands of dollars in surgeries and stuff to get him back right. on his feet, and he's only finally now starting to look like a fully. You yeah. know, fully stocked pit bull. You know, before the, his back end was just like you know yeah. a mess because of the surgeries and everything like that. Well, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it, it's the better of two evils, definitely. Right, right. I just feel like um, I don't know. It, it, it first off, electric fence enables people to keep, leave their dogs in the yard unattended. Yeah. Um, that is not a pack thing at okay. all. Dogs should should you know if, if I put my dogs outside and I go in the house. My dogs sit by that door and cry to get back in the house with me. Okay. Um, if I walk out again, they walk out with me. So it's it's they they want to stick to the safety of the of the pack. Yeah. Um, you know, so when you leave, you know that that's one one aspect. The other aspect is when you leave your dog unattended out there, they claim territory and become dominant, okay. um, or more dominant because now they're allowed to hunt freely, uh, birds, mice, okay. whatever they catch, chipmunks. Because we leave him outside once in a while too. Yeah, yeah, not all the that, time, but it's you know. When we right. let him out in the morning, and she's trying to get yeah. my wife's trying to get ready for work. She lets him outside and lets him do his thing. And well, that's the thing. Continues yeah. her her day. But if they see a jogger and a dog like runs the fence line barking, then he's successfully okay. scattered off the the intruder. Okay. There's a lot of like successful things that can go on there to 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 encourage uh, dominance. Okay. So one of the things um, that you know, uh, the the electric fence is to do it or I hurt you method. Cross that line, and you're going to get hurt. And that okay. just doesn't. That's just not appropriate for in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I'm not saying that the electric fences. I mean, there there's some awesome companies out there doing this. They're great training uh, on the collars, but you know, as far as like a behaviorist is concerned, um, you know, it, it's it's not communicating. You know, if, if I put a bracelet around your neck, uh, around your arm right now, that that sent volts of electricity through you and just didn't tell you what to do, you know, or if I like brought you to an area and you got shocked. You know, you, you won't go to that area. Do you know mm. why you got shocked? Do you know what you're not supposed to do? Yeah, no. it's trial and error. As a human, you do, right. but as a dog, you don't really know why it happened. You just know that you yeah. shouldn't go there. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, but that's the thing: is why should a dog fear an area? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I can understand like if the dog was met another dog that was displaying, or if there was mountain lion in the area, or something like that. But dog fear is going into an actual area. That's why they don't test it. That's why typical. Um, electric fence things, you know, I hear it all the time. Oh, my dog only needed it like four times. Now he don't even need the collar because the dog is petrified to go to that area. Yeah. So that that's not healthy, you know, to 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 be able to um, have your dog off leash in your yard and not leave the boundaries of the yard is you claiming the territory. So, you know, my dogs won't walk 60 feet from me, even in hunting fields. They will not walk 60 feet from me. They, they do their thing. They're very territorial and predatorial. Uh, they hunt those birds. Um, but they won't they won't pursue them any further than that because hmm. uh, you know unless I send them out to do it mm -hmm. you know go bring me the bird and then they'll come back with it but um, it's really more about staying very close safety in numbers sticking close to the pack um, mm -hmm. you know but but yeah that those shot collars you ever feel all those things they, hell yeah they hurt like why, hell yeah why have we not done that on the show I. Because I don't want to fucking do it. It I, hurts. Yeah, that, <laughs> I think I have one in the car. No, <laughs> I. You know, like yeah. I was like, I told, I told Brooke, I'm like, I'm not putting this on on the dogs unless I know what the hell it feels like. Well, that's, I, I jacked yeah. it up all the way as far as it can go, and I strapped it around my wrist, and I walked to the edge, and yeah. it hurt like a motherfucker. It, it hurts. Yeah, yeah. It's bad. You see, and 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 there will be people that will argue with me. Day in and day out, saying prong prong collars don't hurt dogs. It hurts. So if you it use it right, me. it won't hurt them. So I don't it know. Hurts. It hurts. It mm -hmm. it it you're you're using a device to control your dog instead mm -hmm. of trying to figure out how to talk to your dog, understand what he wants, what are his needs. Mm -hmm. You know, how can I provide to to this dog as if his natural species would? Instead of doing that, we just throw nasty devices or band aid devices like harnesses. I mean, a harness, yeah, all right, dog walks better. You didn't do anything psychologically to the dog. Yeah. You know, the second a harness gets off that leash, he's running away. Yep. You know, yeah. and, and it's, 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 and, and if you really think about it, if you left them with their natural parents, they wouldn't have any of these things. Mm -hmm. There'd be no electric fences, there'd yeah. be no prong collars. You know, people are like, oh, well, the prong collar is like getting bit by, by their natural. I've never seen a dog bite another dog in the throat unless they meant to kill it. No. You know, they go right for the face or the back of the neck, sustainable. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, it's counterproductive to survival to injure the ones you rely on. 
yeah. right? So it's it's so so where are these devices coming from? It's just it they're all barbaric, old school. Um, you know, let me put a prong collar, sit, pop it, the dog sits. Yeah, of course it works. Yeah. You know, you tell me sit or I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna freaking sit. You know, <laughs> you know, or fight back. Yeah. So yeah. you know, there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of mentality that needs to be changed, you know, it really, really needs to be changed when it comes to dogs. You know, I, I, I always say, OK, whenever I see a prong collar, I say, why don't we take that off and put it on your four year old? Mm-hmm. And then next time your four year old throws a tantrum, mm-hmm. I want to play I want to play my video games. Pop that freaking collar. Yeah. Right. I mean, the yeah. CPS will be in there. <laughs> On yeah, their door, yeah, yeah, yeah. two seconds. Yeah. That's just not appropriate. You know, it's it's about communication. So it's about and, understanding the dog on a deeper level. Right, right. And just because they they look at reality different than we do, and just mm-hmm. because they don't speak, you know, language, doesn't mean that they don't understand. In fact, mm-hmm. dogs, I think, understand more than people. Hmm. Some sometimes, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You had talked about like a like a, a a different type of collar. That what was that again? I like okay. Mm-hmm. So ecollar dot com. They're mm-hmm. awesome. Um, they make a, it's almost like a modified TENS unit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you ever go to the chiropractor or uh, the physical therapist and they put mm-hmm. that device on you? That I causes... haven't done it, but I'm familiar with it. Yep, yep, yeah. yeah it's the yeah. same, like the, that thing that Bruce Lee used to use to contract his muscles yep. while he was watching TV. Yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I actually had to have that on my back because uh, um, I had a monkey hit me in the face and I fell backwards out of uh, an exhibit on my back. <laughs> I mean, y- uh, how many yes. times in in your life can you say that? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. this is the e collar here. We're looking at it online. Awesome. It's a wireless remote. See yeah. different functions based on the model: either tone, vibration, or stimulating sensation. So it's not an electric shock. No, no, it won't hurt the dog. If you do it right, you got to condition properly. If you buy it, put it on your dog, turn it up, it's gonna hurt the dog. Okay. I mean, you know, if I go to the chiropractor and, um, you know, he turns that thing up, which <laughs> that yeah. happened um, mm-hmm. by accident, the you know, it'll turn up too high. It hurts. But yeah, if you start it just low. It contracts the hell out of your muscles. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Unlike most traditional shock collars or e-collars, you use a form of stimulus that targets the neck muscles, uh, the neck muscles of the dogs, mimicking the loving touch of their mother. Right. Aww, yeah. Well, that's, that's adorable. Yeah. It's it's so so that's the thing is don't the the misconception with this collar is that you know we're going to use it like a, a shock collar mm-hmm. when in reality it takes you know my conditioning process for that collar takes a while. Um, you know, it's to it's, get their attention, not to yep. not to correct. Oh that's yeah, it. like that's if it. I need it's, his attention, I snap really or I snap really right. like I snap as hard as I can and right. it usually like well, dogs, wakes him up. They correct through physical you know? contact. So mm-hmm. if you touch that button even at a half mile away. Um, your dog feels that you have made that connection. So oh, if you're so if you physically makes, contact, yeah, it makes a lot more sense to me. Yeah, so you don't have to hurt your dog. You just got to, that's basically like having a remote control leash on your mm-hmm. dog, you know, just a leash and a collar, hmm. uh, appropriate corrections, you know. Yeah, so uh, one, mi- yeah. one plus mile range, holy shit. Yeah, those are expensive. Those are those are really nice. I, I mm. We're going we're gonna to actually start selling them on my website once we get the e-store up. Um, you know, I'm going to do uh, try to do a video for them Uh on uh, proper use, you know, they, yeah. they have a lot of videos on here from trainers and they're just, you know, a lot of them are just uh, basic shock collar training, but, mm-hmm. you but know, with this, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like any, any device mm-hmm. you could abuse it. Um, but you right. know, this, yeah. this, you know, I, I, my, my Labrador, um, when I, uh, collar condition them, you have to in, in a hunting field. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I had that thing on level five and I challenged anybody if they could even feel it on any part of their body. Yeah. Yep. And this, uh, um, but my dog listened to it. So mm-hmm. it's it literally just a little tingle and you're, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. So huh. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been learning new ways to get my dog's attention now that he can't fucking hear anything. Oh, yeah. So I, yeah. I whistle really loud. That helps because he, like, we let him out in the backyard. He does whatever he's going to do, and then he'll bark to come back in. Okay. Uh, used to be he would bark once, and then we'd go out and we'd get him. Now he starts to bark and does not stop until he sees you because he doesn't know you're coming. Uh, like he used to hear, right. he used to be able to hear, like probably me getting up off the couch, right. opening the front door, walking down the steps, going around, and now he can't hear anything. So as yeah. soon as I hit the front door, I whistle and he stops because he knows I'm coming. Okay. And then when I go to get his attention, I whistle really loud too, and he can still hear that. Okay. Um, okay. But the rest of everything that we do is like hand motions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 So we're we're teaching him sign language now in his old age. That- <laughs> Because it there. used to be like if we're eating or something, he's not allowed in the room because okay. he would beg really badly. Okay, and yeah. now he can't hear us go Bailey out, so we have to yell really loud Bailey out and point. 
And then he goes, "Oh shit!" Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> dogs communicate through yeah. expectations. Yeah. I mean, they they, they, they set the expectations. So there's mm-hmm. a lot you can do. I mean, you know, dog and and they're amazing. I mean, you know, all their senses. They use everything. We're getting a shit ton of feedback here. One per, yeah. um, mom wants to volunteer Jack for e collar training. And, uh, <laughs> Mike Bleakley is asking if um, a legit question: uh, old deaf dog that was abused by its previous owner mm. and is very alpha in the home. Uh, what would be a good way to train her? Now, I think I know what your answer is going to be. Is that yeah? You, you're not going to know until you meet her. Yeah, you're not going to know until you meet her. Yeah, yeah. That's that's mm-hmm. hard. That's really hard. I mean it. I, deaf dogs, blind dogs, it's just a, a, a different style of work, but it really all falls under that whole level of just finding a way of communicating. Um, and, and then once you do, providing a level of uh, structure to provide safety and security. So, you know, sometimes I find that dogs that do have a lack of one of their senses, they tend to become very dominant uh not necessarily alpha alpha mentality is a dog that's so confident he could lead his pack and you know any action you take to try to claim dominance the dog just becomes more dominant to try to maintain that stature Mm -hmm. um some dogs that are deaf or blind uh have a lack of security now they know that they can't do what they used to do their 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 security levels have dropped so they become more aggressive just because of that so mm-hmm. once you show them that you're there and that you're the alpha they usually let that go i get uh, so, so here's another question how do you show them it depends on the dog i yeah. I, I hate to say it like that yeah, it's yeah. just well no i know some... that but like um you i mean as a human how yeah. can you sh- is oh it... providing food um now different than food training food reward um, you know, if I can communicate to the dog that I'm the one who's bringing back the, the deer, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one making the kill. I'm the one who allows him to eat, um, mm-hmm. through le- levels of like resource guarding, stuff like that. Um, okay. uh, I can accomplish controlling the food source and giving the dog confidence that I will feed him. Mm-hmm. Um, also redirecting on the dog as far as like, not so aggressive redirecting. When I use the word aggression, I kind of you're using like, it in a different sense than like other, I would, yeah. other guys. I like think we know what we're talking about. Using the, it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, like I I approach uh, a, a dog with aggression as I would approach a test aggressively. Like I would aggressively study for that test and pass that test. You know, okay. Um, it, there's no violence involved whatsoever. Um, you know, same as fear. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, fear is. You're talking about like intensity and confidence. You know, right, 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 right. right. Okay. Like, like I'm. So you never want to battle a dog physically. Mm-hmm. Um, if you bat- battle a dog physically, they will always try to match you. But if you battle a dog mentally, so you become more willing. Uh, you know, the, the benefit of a human is that we can recreate scenarios over and over again and just, you know, present pass or fail situations. And I could be more willing than a dog, meaning that I will be willing to do this every single day uh, for hours and hours on end until the dog gets it. You know, mm. um, if they show signs of stress or anything, we'll, we'll take a break, but we're going to go right back to it. So having that mentality, that steadfast mentality really can help to show the dog that you are in control. Okay. Um, and once you're in control, then they have confidence. Now you protect them, you feed them, you provide. So you become the quote unquote alpha. Uh, so, you know, that it, there's, but, but every dog is different. So I don't know the, the history behind that dog. You know, like, it, the, yeah. did the dog have aggressive tendencies beforehand? Yeah, because, like, know, and, especially with my dog, he's well aware that we're in charge of his food. Okay. So much to the point that the moment the sun comes up, he's crying for food. Well, <laughs> okay. That's, that's yeah. what I was going to ask. Is he like, because I okay. know Eisen, yeah. Eisen will, I can tell when Eisen is telling me that he's hungry. Right. But he's telling me to feed him and then I'm feeding him. Yeah. So right. I, that right. to me, yeah. Sound, yeah right, like right, he's right. demanding and he's receiving. Right. So he's just like, yes, thanks. Now yeah. fuck off while I yeah, eat. That, <laughs> I could, well, yeah, yeah. Like I could drop a steak in my house and my dogs will leave the room. Oh, like yeah. literally without a yeah, leave it, well, without a word, an, anything. Well, another thing, I can yeah. leave a plate of food out. He's not going to touch it. He won't touch it. So he that's won't good. touch then the. He, he won't touch my it. food. But like, yeah. I, I know. Like, it seems to me that but like him demanding yeah. food. I don't know. Dogs are creatures of it, habit. They're mm-hmm. structural. They they know yeah. when they want to eat. They know when they want to go out. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if, yeah, if you don't want food. Again, I think it's just because he's getting old. Okay. But he's just developing new 
habits, like new norms for himself. Um, used to be that dog would sleep. If I slept until 11 a.m., he slept until 11 a.m. <laughs> and then he would eat, go outside, and then go back to fucking bed for 12 more hours because he's, a, he's <laughs> a beagle, you know, yeah, beagle but, basset. And, uh, if he's so, not hunting, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, sleeping. Awesome. He's conserving <laughs> energy. It's the way I want to be. <laughs> but right? now it's, it's like... dream. Exactly. Now it's, you know... By I would say seven seven thirty eight o'clock he starts crying and it's not to go out because the second I open the door he beelines to the kitchen he kind of drifts around the corner which is really funny on the hardwood floor hits the wall and then runs to his bowl and stands there waiting <laughs> no matter how badly he has to go to the bathroom he's he gonna to. eat first. <laughs> Because uh, Amy will go, no, fuck you, we're going out first. Okay. And she'll take him out because she knows that if he wants to go back inside and eat, yeah. he'll go to the bathroom quickly. <laughs> smart. Yeah. Very whereas, smart. Whereas, whereas me, if, yeah. I, if I'm feeling lazy and I just give him his food and then we go outside, he'll be out there he'll, like 15, 20, 30 minutes if you just He's messing around, thing, smelling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if he if he really wants to eat food, he's going to go to the bathroom really quick. So it's just, it's just, it's like dealing with a. Uh, Elderly child. <laughs> that, Does that make uh, sense? Benjamin Buttons. Yeah. yeah. That he's just he's <laughs> got he's got a little dementia, but he has all of the like I want it now of a little kid. Yeah, yeah. So, At his age, yeah. I give him whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna happen. You want a steak, yeah. buddy? Here you go. I just, <laughs> I just I like to sleep in. Yeah, you know, and he's just. Oh yeah, getting, we're yeah. up at we're up at six, no matter what, because he's bugging us to go outside. And yeah. I mean, like, it's, yeah. that's fine. Now, you gotta piss, you gotta piss. And yeah. He won't piss in the house. Yeah, he'll if we tell him to fuck off, he'll yeah. go he'll go he'll fuck off until we let him out. But right. and he won't he won't go in the house. But at the same time, I'm like. I'm not gonna let this fucker wait. I'm yeah. awake. I'll, I'll yeah. let yeah. him out. I'll come back. Uh, not like, they help I, us. You I, know? I say it's like, like they I help get, us get on on routine. Yeah, yeah but I'm it's talking like, like I get up and take him yeah. out. Brooke gets up and takes him out because I'm <laughs> like, eh. <laughs> I, I'm no good in the morning. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but um, mm. uh, another thing coming in. Uh, opinion on a raw diet. Uh um, raw diet. I I. I think okay, so I, I I love raw diets. I do think that that's that's very 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 natural and very very healthy. Yeah, it makes sense. Right? However, yeah, the 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 it's very expensive. It, it involves a lot of of, of your time. A ton so of work. You have I, the, no matter what my mom says, because she feeds no her ma- dogs raw. Yeah, it's a pain in the fucking it's a ass. Ton She's of like, work. It's not that hard. I'm like, yes, it is. It takes me. Half, it takes me 15 yeah. minutes to half an hour to feed your dogs. Yeah. With my dog, it takes me 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, ton ton of work. <laughs> and also, you got to be, you know, where you get your meat from. I mean, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's it's uh, uh, you know, it there there's so many things that could go wrong that could kill the dog you know i mean raw diet if you look at it uh, if, if if you were going to truly feed a raw diet you'd let your dog go out and kill a deer yeah i mean because that's as be, fresh as fresh can be uh, raw organic and chock full of lyme's disease Eggs. <laughs> 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 oh thank god you can't eat lyme's disease. <laughs> but yeah no it's uh but you know you, you, you but that's the freshest that's where you're not going to have e coli problems you're not going to have things like that right. you know i mean you buy a steak from adams i mean you would not eat that raw you know i mean i love adams steaks so mm-hmm. whatever i buy adams i'll plug adams here yeah. cuz i really love adams yeah. meat and i li- and um, i like a good rare black and blue steak absolutely <laughs> but you got to sear that outside you yeah. know and that's the thing is like uh, it, it's one of those things where i i don't feed raw it, the the quality of food you could buy out there um, these days is 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 unreal, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I just learned something new. Um, with uh, always learning, always learning, always learning. Yep, yep, yep. That's uh, <laughs> um, you know, I was feeding a grain free diet to my dog, and uh, he was muscle ripped out like he was a bodybuilder, and you could see every bone in his body. Um, it was unreal because they're hunting dogs; they're always active, yeah. and he was eating like eight to nine cups of, of food. I mean, like ridiculous amounts of food, and not putting on any weight. Hmm. Um, so, you know, uh, with the most amazing people in, in, in my network, we, we, we kind of hashed it out to find out, you know, I mean, honestly, you can't, you can't process protein without carbs. So I gave my dog some rice and bam, put it on. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Perfect amount of weight. Um, he wasn't drinking as much water as he used to. He used to be like a water hound. Now he takes a few sips. He's good. Um, Mm. he used to 
drink and pee all day long. And then the second we started adding, um, actually, a little bit of kosher salt in there, too. Uh, uh, so it helped them retain. Yep. Uh, it, yep. And now we don't do that anymore. Um, and, and uh, you know, I just give him a little rice with his food, and he's down to half the amount of food he's eating, and he put on double the weight, and he looks great. Hmm. Absolutely great, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you got to look at it as it's not a wolf. You know, they're they're... They, they've, yeah. There, there's been a lot of breeding that's gone on in the last few hundred years. Yeah. They can't survive on just protein. The same as, you know, we can't survive on just protein. Right. You know, they, and, there yeah. were hunter gatherer societies that only lived off of protein. Right. Right. And right. They, you know, their their bodies had acclimated to it. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. you know, we eat cow. We eat cows. It's, yeah. it's 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 you know and they are delicious. Deer. Yes, yeah. they are. I do. I, I am a meat eater to the core. Yeah, Viking. Uh, um, but you know they're eating animals that have a diet that is vegetarian and 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 insectivorous. You know, so they're 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 eating meat, but they're eating very lean meats, and they're eating um, you know these animals like deer are, are gathering certain vitamins and minerals from eating plants. So you know we're 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 kind of feeding you know uh with raw diet you have to really you have to get in there you gotta you know carrots everything i mean you gotta oh, really God loves carrots his shits are orange <laughs> swear to god i don't yeah, give him treats yeah. anymore yeah. that's all no, he carrots wants. Are, yeah eisen's loves garbage keep, eisen's garbage yeah. can we carrots are there. yeah very high in sugar though so yeah. be careful they yeah yeah he gets he only gets uh he has put on a lot of weight in the last year or so but like okay. i said we're giving him whatever he wants we'll yeah we'll we'll but he'll guy. take <laughs> he'll take a carrot like he'll he loves like a full fucking carrot. He just walks away with it. it's adorable. <laughs> that's a, that's but he would that's rather awesome. have that that's than like a like a biscuit, like awesome. a store bought treat. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's just I think it's the interact. I think it's he feels like he's killing it. it. Gets to chew it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It that, cracks and it makes noises and it's kind of big and he can work on it for a minute. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he would rather have a braised short rib bone, but oh, yeah. sure. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But, I, but over like if I put if I put you know like a a store bought whatever biscuit like. What the fuck's the name? Milk bone. Okay. Like that kind of... He used to love yeah. those things. If I put one of those next to a carrot, he'd take the carrot and then come back for the milk bone every okay. time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd take the steak over McDonald's, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, Eisen, tomatoes, broccoli, stalks, kale stalks, the, the center vein of the kale. We yeah. give them to him every... any Anything and everything. It's awesome. And, yeah. like, we tried a mushroom on him one time, just like a baby okay. portobello mushroom, and he, he like, went... He like gummed it and then went, Bleh, yeah. spit it out, and then walked. Uh, and Brooke's like, "Oh, I wonder why." I'm like, "Well, do they eat mushrooms in the wild? Probably not. Like, that's I don't probably so. dangerous, right? <laughs> they probably figured. I don't know, but yeah, he don't like olives or um or mushrooms. Yeah. But yeah. that's yeah. <laughs> they gave him a lime <laughs> once. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you give a little kid a lime for the first time. They this smells good. I'm gonna try it, and then they don't understand what just happened. To <laughs> <the> <laughs> <case>. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Oh man! Oh man! We are uh, at um, two hours. Well, oh, before wow. before we <laughs> wind this down, I do want to talk about your our podcast. Your right? our oh, yeah, <laughs> it's your podcast. We're just helping yeah. you. Yeah, uh, let's so, uh, put a you know yeah. when we were working out. You know, Dave coming on the show. You know, it's turned into a little bit more than that. I guess. Mm. Um, go ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know where you were so, going. Yeah, I, I just wanna. I, I want to get an idea because I think I think even you are still hashing out the details of what it's gonna be. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And you said it's it's not gonna be a show about dog training because you don't want to be that guy giving blanket advice. Right. Right. right and right. I think that's a good good tactic. Just maybe more flipping people's perception about how they view their dog and how their dog views the world as right. opposed to do this and your dog will be better. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So yeah. so give me give me an idea of what you're thinking about doing. Well, yeah, I mean, just uh, talking about um, the the perception of reality of dogs mm -hmm. and just understanding them better, um, you know, and opening up the, the, the board for other people to put their opinions in. I mean, you know, the one thing that I can say is like within quantum reality uh there's not only one path to one you know one 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 path to a solution that um there's there's many different paths not just the moment when you think that something is factual it goes ahead and changes mm -hmm. um there's there's it's like going to a psychiatrist and saying hey doc what's wrong with me you know there's not one term that you can use that you know even if you find that term it can be 
infinitesimally described in different manners. Everybody's different. Everybody's environment is different. So, um, you know, just opening that board up and talking to people, getting trainers on there, trying to really revolutionize and change the way we look at dogs, you know, and, uh, you know, d- training your dog to sit, stay, and lay down and all these really wonderful things that dog trainers do, not never going to bash a dog trainer, um, but it's not behavior. And, and I hear that a lot where dog trainers are saying that they're modifying behavior and uh, it's just the, the efforts just aren't there. You know, it, it's, it's, it's teaching your dog to look at you while somebody's walking past you is not going to curb its aggression. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just going to redirect the dog to look at you and then pumping them full of treats is just going to reward the situation. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, trying to change that mentality, having people look a little bit deeper into the dog than, than, than looking at him as just like a simple minded beast. Um, you know, that's, that's the thing is just, uh, really, I, I want to get that podcast out there and open to, mm-hmm. so that we can, you know, really, uh, come up with new ideas. You know, I never claim to say anything that I'm saying is factual. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just what I've observed, you know, and I've been very fortunate to to have the experiences I've had and, and been able to uh, really be a part of not only dogs' lives, but a lot of animals' lives um, and, uh, and, and you know, observe them and, and really have an open mind to what they're doing. And, um, you know, I'd love to, 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 to share that and talk to like-minded people and mm-hmm. really, you know, help integrate dogs as part of our family you know training even the word training you yeah. know it's like i go to the gym to train yeah you know i don't go to the, the, to the psychiatrist to train <laughs> you know it you, you go to the psychiatrist to to get better to open up like to open up to to open up to, to, to figure f- figure yourself out yeah. for your mind yeah mm-hmm. yep yep it's uh yeah, I can't wait yeah. for it. Uh, it's still hashing out the details. I'm um, still trying yeah. to get that out there. But, I mean, with you guys, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna well, happen. I think we had a great conversation. We have a great rapport. So I think yeah. it'll I think it'll definitely turn into something. Perfect. We just You just got to figure out, like, what your hourly content is going to be. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. So I, I, think, I think what we had talked about, maybe having, you know, uh, yourself as an expert and then an expert from maybe a slightly differing perspective – and then do like what we've been doing with your mom, just sending in messages like, what are your thoughts on this? Perfect. And you can't give specifics as to what, you know, her, what's going on with her dog, but you can certainly give specifics about what you think about a raw diet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Because that's, absolutely. That's, that's that's just yeah. a yeah. straight, you know, it's your scientific opinion right, on right, what right. you've seen. Or I can give um, you, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And thing. like the shock collar thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's an observable thing that, that works across the board as opposed to my dog keeps peeing in the house, what do I do? Absolutely. Well, you know, you know an example like that, mm-hmm. your dog keeps peeing in the house. Sometimes understanding why he's doing yeah. it is all you need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't have to actually counteract it or go mm-hmm. after it. It's just a yeah. you know, it's just one branch on a on a tree when you gotta just mm-hmm. look at what the way the roots are growing. So it's more like yeah. you're teaching humans to yeah, like I said yeah, in the beginning, you're just f- trying to find the middle ground between human and dog, and right. or human and animal. So you, we have to learn a different way of communication, a, a different way of of seeing body language and everything, yeah. like in, interpreting empathy. Uh, that, yeah, you know, just body having, language and empathy. Yeah, having that empathy for the dogs, understanding. Yeah. Um, the reason they're doing what they're doing is not to vindictively do it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that they, they, they're they're not that way. You know, yeah. it's it's there's a there's something of a mis some sort of a miscommunication, and yeah. if, if we can just you know, so I I, I actually feel like I, I call myself a dog trainer, I call myself a behaviorist, but I think uh, someone once told me that I'm, I'm more of a a linguist. Okay, like I'm just trying to figure out a, a new language. Mm-hmm. Something that we can understand and they can understand. Yeah. And then just kind of like having like a, a just a new language versus a new form of training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's the only way and the only way you can change minds is to actually present right. you know, present the argument in, in a you know intelligent fashion. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you know, instead of, you know, confrontational or anything like right. that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So I think it was I think it's a a great chance to have a, a really in depth forum. You know, and in depth discussion to, you know, set everyone on the on a different path. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, everybody needs to be willing to accept it too. Yeah. Because that, or, yeah. You know, when, well, you know, yeah. every, it's some people are just like, no, this is how it is. Meh. And clo- they walk yeah. away. A it's closed just mind. Is well, you gave a great example before. Would you strap that thing to your kid? Right. You know, you wouldn't do that. Right. 
The thing is, like, I have my dog, which is a pet, and then I have chickens, which provide food. Right. They're not pets. Right. They have names. I'm not sure. going to chop their heads off <laughs> when they stop laying eggs because I'm not that guy. Yeah. But, you know, they're not, like, I don't fucking cuddle with them on the couch. <laughs> you know, it's, it's I'd different. I'd probably chop its head off. Yeah, yeah. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice cocoa vin with the four-year-old. Oh, chicken. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, just, you know, I, I'm just there because I, I feel like that animal provided plenty for me right. throughout its life. And it can now retire and all of that. But I, I don't think of it the same way as I think of a dog. They have personalities. They definitely do. And they deserve, they deserve a certain degree of respect for that. Right. But they're, they're there to provide eggs. They're not there for companionship. You know? They, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, they, they, again, even like if you look at a chicken, not to get mm-hmm. too, uh, you know, into, mm-hmm. in depth with this, but even then, they, they, they have their own structure as well. Oh, for sure. Yeah. They protect their young. It's fucking if, crazy. Yeah. 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 You get a fox <laughs> yeah, running around have, a chicken pen, they, 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 I have, they, uh, they protect them. Yeah. I have yeah. seven chickens. And one of them has uh, taken on taken on the mother hen role. Oh, uh, which she, one was Bane. that one? What's the uh, name of that? Bane one? Chicken. <laughs> oh, that's Bane now. Yeah, I thought the bigger one was. Th- oh, it's Bane Chicken. Wow, Bane <laughs> we okay. named one Bane Chicken. That's, a... after that's Bane the cool Cat. one with the copper and the gr- copper yeah, feathers. It's, uh, yeah, it's the the really um, yeah they're like striated. They're copper on the end, yeah. and then the I'm rest sorry, of the feathers black. To, like, don't Doesn't rest, but that's awesome. but um, she's taken on the role of just sh- all she does all day is roost. Right, she just sits on top of the eggs all day. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's no rooster. None of those are fertilized, but she's right. taken on that role right. of taking care of all of the eggs. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's incredible. Well, that's, and, yeah. You yeah. know, there are definitely alphas for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He walks uh, out and he walks out on the lawn and he starts, he goes, all right, guys, let's go. And he starts clapping yeah. and yeah. they all fun, They all just go, okay. And they go inside. Except for the, except one, for the one stupid one. Ollie or whatever. Andy or Ollie. Yeah. Right? That's we, <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> Uh, it, I think I think her name was originally Fredward, <laughs> but then they looked really similar these two ones, and they're just so stupid that we named them after Andy and Ollie on Bob's that, uh, Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's one of those. I don't know which one they are because they look exactly the same. But it's just the one that won't, just doesn't understand. Like, okay. just follow them in there, you dumb shit. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave you out here to get eaten by a fox like the last six that, chickens we had. <laughs> yeah, we had, yeah. We, we live right yeah. here in Poughkeepsie, like a mile away. Yeah. Fox got all six of our chickens at oh, night. Wow. Yeah. 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 I, and see, it was, I see it them was all the time. Multiple foxes get... because they carried all six chickens off. Wow. Yeah. 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 There yeah. were nothing but feathers left. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it had to be yeah. at least two or three. Right, right, right. Or a coyote. Uh, Did you yeah. see what it was? No, or? no. Coyote. I've, we've seen, seen, I've yeah. seen fox, fox before. around in you have, my right. neighborhood. Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, they, they did attack the coop one time. Uh, okay. my, my previous roommates that lived downstairs chased them off. Okay. They were attacking the coop. One was inside the coop, and they just ran outside, yelled a lot. All the chickens had gotten out at that point because okay. we just had chicken wire. They pushed right up underneath it. Oh, and they just get right yeah. up. Good. Uh, right. So yeah. all the chickens were out. They were chasing them around. And then, evidently, after that incident, they got organized. Okay, <laughs> and it was there was no no noise at all. We yes. woke up the next day, nothing but feathers everywhere. Wow, wow. yeah. So we're wow. thinking it was probably those foxes. Probably, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah City yeah. Poughkeepsie. That's it. Got to worry about <laughs> it. Yeah. So now they're in. They're now they're in Dax's dog pen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing's getting under there. It's all <laughs> welded, welded stainless. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, they definitely have a hierarchy. But but what I was getting back to before yeah. is like my dog's a part of my family. Right. You know, and it's like, right. Why would you treat a part of your family like that? Right. You know, like right. I. I right. I've never, I've never really hit my dog, but I do that like smack on the nose sometimes, and that seems to get. It's mostly to get his attention more than anything. It definitely doesn't hurt him, but it's yeah. you know, and I, I'm still on the fence as to whether that's effective or not. I'll be like, honest, yeah. I've wanted to hit him. I'll be really honest. bad. <laughs> I wanted to fucking deck that dog a few times, yeah. but uh, you know, well, I, they're I confused because I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna punch. I'm not gonna, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna punch my kid. Like yeah, like, like although there is one time that my <laughs> nephew, this is, a, this is a human child. He was three and he was about to bite me, and I just bopped him on the head like <laughs> he was a dog, <laughs> and that worked really fucking That's well like <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> it didn't hurt him at all. Yeah, like it wasn't yeah. like beating a kid. It was seriously like, give, me, give me your hand. But, uh, uh, I'll just uh, uh, there, you there you go. Yeah, there's a biff. Uh, Absolutely a biff. <laughs> didn't hurt him at all. But he just like 
What got the? scared <laughs> and then immediately started crying quietly. Okay. Like, I really fucked up, and it's completely my fault. Uh. So I don't know if that's a good parenting technique, but that fucking oh. worked. He was about to bite me and then didn't. <laughs> yeah. You know how kids go through that? You're, you're, you just had a yeah. kid, right? It's, it's, yeah, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, right around yeah. two it starts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just decide, because they, they have no power. They, they have no, no power, yeah. but then they realize, I have teeth and I can bite the shit yeah. out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's yep. something that they, they just go through this phase, yeah. where, and it's bad. That's it. <laughs> they have no no self-control over their own bite strength. Oh, like, man. Yeah, he's broken the skin before. Oh, Jesus. That's yeah. <laughs> so, you got to put a, a muzzle, muzzle on nice him, and then you have to build a pen. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be let outside without the muzzle, <laughs> like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. <laughs> Bit just, the neighbor. He's <laughs> wheeling around your your two year old. <laughs> he has a biting problem. Why he has a ski mask on. I don't think you're allowed to he's, do that. He's gained a taste for human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if hitting your dog is effective, but hitting your kids it's is. The, uh yeah. You you watch my dogs, uh, especially the Broncos, they're all hands. Yeah. He'll he'll just walk right up to my lab and just bop him right in the face with his paw. Yeah. So you know it's it's like sometimes hitting your you know what well when you do hit a dog they just don't get that primate behavior. Yeah, they just don't get it. When I had uh, 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 Pende, Fran, and Halima, the little lowland gorillas down at the zoo, I mean they would come running over and just bam whack each other in the face and then come, <laughs> come back crawl up me and then grab me and just start whacking my head. You know, so it's like it, it's it's a very you know if you have opposable thumbs, it's you know whacking is typically you know yeah. uh, a method of correcting. It's a, pr- it's a primate thing, not a canine thing. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. So dogs don't quite get that. You know, yeah. I can come. Well, yeah. and there there will be times when I go to pet him and he'll flinch, thinking that I'm going to bop him on the nose. Confused, yeah. Because he he doesn't. So that that was when I stopped doing it because it was obvious that he didn't understand that I was doing it because he was it was just bad behavior. There's no identification. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I don't do it anymore. Um, the like the only time like I'll I'll kind of kick him in the butt now because I can't say <laughs> Bailey, it's time to go inside because <laughs> he doesn't hear me anymore. So yeah. now I just I just kind of just boot him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. he's that dog is so fucking spoiled. It's fine. <laughs> Do yeah. anything to him and it'd be fifteen. Fine. He deserves yeah. it. Yeah. He deserves yeah. <laughs> retirement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. So I think yeah, I think we've yeah. come to the end here because we're yeah, this two hours very, and fifteen minutes. Show. It's gone like yeah. that, man. It's been it, just it really it's am. enlightening. Yeah. It really mm-hmm. is. And uh, you know, people, you know, sending in messages and stuff, trying to figure out. Yeah, my, you know, <laughs> that uh, poor Mike. You know, we. You know, there's something up with your dog, man. And you just call you know, me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Give me yeah. Call. Yeah. I can. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, let me do this properly. Well, first, let me do this properly. Um, yeah. Oh, by you... the way, you're gonna be pissed. What? Totally lost all the footage of me telling you you had something in your teeth. No. And and um, when you pull, cause you cut the mics, so I pulled this out of the camera if you don't restart the recording no audio so everything we talked about in the outro is gone what a bummer I do still have a video of you trying to pick your teeth with a dildo <laughs> <laughs> there's just no audio <laughs> so it's com- it's even more out of context yeah. so I'll you. just I'll just oh, put man. it up and let people figure it out <laughs> oh man so <laughs> So if you want to get a hold of Dave Curlander, um, he's at uh, k-9tactics.com. You can email him, packanimal at live.com. Also, um, give him a call, 845-636-8922. It's at, uh, on Facebook, at K9 Tactics Training. Um, yeah, man, it's been it's been really this is great. Yeah. eye-opening. Yeah, it's been fun. To be, yeah. the, you know, to be perfectly honest, because it's a different... It's it's completely different from what I've seen on TV or read, and it seems to actually make a it it makes a little more it makes way uh, not a little but way more sense to me than anything to just getting down to their level to see you know you're not gonna some uh, an alien from another fucking planet you're not gonna okay. come down. They're not going to come down. They're going to be like, you know, they're Expecting, just going to expect. Right. Yeah, they're not going to put their hand, hand down out and, go, and shake your hand. How's yeah, it yeah. hanging? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you're not going to bop them on the nose, strap an <laughs> electrical collar to them, and tell them to shit. 
it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't. I don't understand. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of it is just looking at the looking at them as a companion as opposed to a pet family. Yeah. Yeah. Because yep. uh, they don't you see know. you any different. Yeah. A yeah. fish is a pet. Yep. You know, a fish is something j- just simply there to entertain yeah. you. Yeah. yeah is, you you yeah. take care of it to a certain <laughs> degree, but you don't interact with it. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like a fucking hermit crab that you're not gonna. Yeah. You're not going to train a hermit crab. My my opinion <laughs> on fish could be a whole other episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, um, k uh, k nine tactics dot com pack animal. Uh, email him at uh, pack animal at live dot com eight four five six three six eight nine two two. Dave, it's been yeah, yeah thanks, shitload guys. of fun, this man. Thanks awesome. for coming on. This Appreciate awesome. it. We're gonna hash out your show too and Perfect. see what uh, see what we can do yeah. with that. And Perfect. yeah, hopefully you'll be hearing more from Dave in the future. Yeah, awesome. in the, yeah. within the Dead Radio family of podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're, really, we're 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 just branching out <laughs> and just seeing what uh, just seeing what fucking sticks. And Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully by by doing that, we'll get people to learn how to download the show. Yeah. That's still an uphill uh, we battle. didn't promote ourselves at all. Um, if you'd like to support the show, uh, it is patreon.com oh, slash yes. dead radio podcast. Yep. Do not go to patreon.com and expect to find us. Their search algorithm is very biased. Yeah. Go to patreon.com slash dead radio podcast. You'll find us immediately. Just throw us, you know, a buck a month. Yeah. Just you to can, let yeah. us know let us know that you're supporting the show. Uh, you give us even five dollars, we give you a shout out. Say hey, thank you to so and so for supporting the show. Yeah. Um, Big shout out to Tony O'Dell from uh, f- uh, formerly oh of yeah. uh, Hudson Valley Legends. She actually stopped by the booth yesterday at the uh, Dark Side Records Bazaar and gave us ten bucks because yeah. she hasn't, mm-hmm. she wasn't sure, yeah. you know, where her money was and everything yeah. like that. wasn't sure if she could keep continuing and. She was just like, "Here is to make up for the time lost." Yeah. I was like, and "That was that yeah. was that was great of her because that that's like huge. two months, you know, yeah. that she was supporting us before, and we really appreciate everybody who supports the show by listening, and especially d- thanks to Mike Bleakley and your mom for listening in the middle of the day on a Monday. That yeah, we really appreciate. And Bree too. Bree was listening. Oh yeah, she, yeah, cool. she was, yeah, she asked about the Doberman. Cool, cool. So, um, yeah. so that that gave us content. We want more of that. Yeah. So if you guys, it, I, I like I like how well the Facebook Messenger worked. So maybe uh, we'll we'll figure something out that's not M- message us in. if if they messaged us on Dead Radio at the Dead Radio podcast mm-hmm. page. I'm not getting those blooms sounds. Yeah. You know, so yeah. do that instead of instead messaging of personal. us personally because yeah. that was fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, during during the live broadcasts, check us out on the Dead Radio podcast Facebook page. You can send us a message from there. We will get it immediately, but we won't have an annoying notification to ruin the show. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. You. That's it. That's it. That's how you end a yeah. show. Oh, you yeah. say well, yeah, man, and that's this. it. Promo. Have to have. Him oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta figure out a title. Uh, it's gonna f- be Canine Krav Maga. Okay. That's yeah. <laughs> but the other one that I had was their <laughs> bat was depressed, and I had a monkey hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's gonna be Canine Krav Maga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Also, uh, real quick, uh, Francis Dean, they just posted something, and they tagged us in it as well. Um, you know, just uh, thanks to everybody who make our shows possible, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're going to be uh, June 24th at Snapper McGee's with the Split Seconds and Hairbag. So that sounds like a fun one. Hair June 2nd and Saturday, 10 p.m. at um, Snapper McGee's in Kingston. So check out Francis Dean there, too, and their website. And Dave, yeah. Canine Tactics. Thank also, you. come to Crafted Cup and check out Bosch's haircut. Yeah, it's the shit. <laughs> I just got new pomade. Admiral. I'm gonna give that a try. Maybe we can do a. Huh. Smells like coconuts. <laughs> and awesome. it smells like it smells like girls' conditioner. That's what it smells like. Sure. <laughs> All right. I'll let everybody know next week how it was, how it <laughs> went. Bye, guys. Goodbye.